Yeah, I know we lost touch, but I'm still here. We were young, we were kids, it was something rare. I told you everything, but when it all burned down and you were left with nothing, did you question God or did you see it coming? Come on, oh, come on. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another stream. Hope everybody's having a wonderful bit of a day. Boys, we got ourselves today another live stream. Oh my god, oh my goodness, what the hell? Now, actual life. Oh, oh, hold on, I forgot to do a thing. Now we're good. And that's done. Beautiful. Uh also let me get the fan going too. Like it's just gonna be a, it's just gonna be weird, man. It's just uh, the lack of uh white noise in the background for me. It's just gonna be awkward. Let me get it real fast. good phone is charging fan is there we are good and apparently cataclysm beta should be out sometime soon some people think it might even be this week like based on the little like snippet of code that we got it looks like sounds like quacks like it might be out i don't know tomorrow maybe i don't know when, when else will they release over the weekend I would think a Thursday, right? Because that's usually when they've done like their betas and alphas and stuff. But like Cataclysm and Beta might be out sooner than we think. That's kind of exciting. You know why? Because that's when I started uh, playing WoW. Cataclysm. Yeah, Cata Baby. I know there's some of you out there like that, man. I know some of you started playing then. What did chair stream go? Oh, man. Yeah, you know what I should do? I should make a JPEG of just the stream of the chair. <laughs> or I should wear a green screen one day. Just so you guys can not see me, but just see the chair. Like a full bodysuit. Imagine, right? Imagine, man. Imagine. But yo, Kata, Beta, I actually am excited for it. I kind of want to play in Kata. I'm actually thinking because there's like an XP buff in Wrath uh, that's been there for like ever and they never disabled it. I'm thinking maybe level a Druid on like an, an NA realm somewhere. Maybe see what, where a friend of mine plays. Hopefully they don't play in like a PvP realm or something just so I can have a more of a casual experience. Um, but I'm thinking maybe level a, um, a druid, because that's what I used to play back in Kata. I played a Boomkin. I want to go back to dropping down mushrooms, big star surges, zero in Karn, dots for days, Barak skin. You know what I mean? Like, I want to go back to that. That's what I started with. Also, Typhoon that looks like a wave. Always was fun, man. Uh, Kragar talk. Uh, Kragar talking to head off in your head. It's just the Kragar talking. Yeah, dude, that'd be cool, actually. That'd be awesome. What's up, Mike? How you doing, my man? What's up, Shane? How you doing, my guy? Hope you all having a good one. What's up, Nylex? How you doing, my man? Hope you having a good one. You're gonna be here Friday, dude. I actually almost never see you on streams outside of the Friday streams, man. How you doing, bud? All right, we also got a bunch of stuff on the train post today too. So uh, I want to take a look at the um, train post stuff that's coming out. What's up, Cry? How you doing, my man? Still alive? Hope you're doing well. Going through so much, and never know what to do. Hopefully, all the up and staying healthy now. Holding up, trying to stay as healthy as I can, man. Hope you are doing fantastic. Hope everything goes good for you, my guy. But yo, trading post, that's coming out, what, uh, in a couple of days. It's not out for a bit. It's like, what, Friday, I guess? But they already released like a whole overview of everything that's coming out there. I kind of want to take a look at that today. Tell you guys what I like, what I don't. Uh, and then take a look at the Kata stuff. 
if there's gonna be any kind of stuff today has been the best day so far uh, uh has been the best day over hell yeah man hell yeah good vibes all around love to see it let me see if i can pull up the trading post so that's not coming out for a bit that's gonna be on in march like right now just to make sure we can all confirm trading post stuff isn't here yet over here hell yeah man uh, now you mentioned Rattlish King, I'm gonna go burn my Druid Warlock rested. Yeah, do for it, my guy. Yeah, I'm thinking of leveling a Druid. Oh, you know why? Because one, XP buff is there, but two, I played a Druid, and three, there's like dungeon queues in Wrath. It's, it, Wrath didn't start out with dungeon queues, which was, I feel like, the lamest thing ever. I know that we're like, oh, we want to keep it like community thing, but dude, queues, dungeon queues, random dungeon queues are so nice. It's so nice not having to look for other people for LMG. It is so good, dude. 1 through 60 is insanely fast. That's what I hear. Yeah, with the XP buff. Yeah, I was just thinking grind through dungeons and stuff. But let me show you, boys. Trading post. Not updated yet. Anybody else get stuck in the chains in here? I feel like I have to, like, fly up and then fly down and stuff. Okay, so we still have, like, the old trading post, yeah? Yeah, all of the old items are still here from, uh, March. Should I buy this thing before it's gone? I have like 3,765 chat. Should I buy it? Yes or no? Do I buy the mount? Or should I buy like any of these things? Because they're going to be gone for a bit. Like a lot of them are like pink because of February. Do it. Mount, yes. Okay, purchase. There we go. One big purchase. That's it. I do like it too. Yeah, it's a store mount, but like. Or there's a variation of it on store, but yeah. <laughs> they have an extra mount out of this collection. Fur and Ship Fox. That's what's its name? That's what they called it? Fur and Ship Fox? Really? I don't hate it. Oh, it flies too. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, that makes it even better. Oh, that's actually awesome. Okay, that's a great purchase. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna be able to get like, what, a thousand or whatever train post one March comes around. But yeah, no new stuff is in yet. But they do have a blue post, or actually like a blizzard post. I guess it is a blue post of all the new stuff coming out um, tomorrow or in March. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick just to show you guys what we have. Okay. So this is, uh, oh, oh, that's not it. That's, this is everything we have coming out tomorrow or not tomorrow, but in a couple of days in March. Uh, so we have, first of all, a mount, a majestic azure peafowl. That's kind of cool, right, chat? A mount is good. Mounts are good. We got a Jade Parasol, which is like a toy you can get actually in Shadowlands, but if you don't want to go to Revendreth, I guess you can get the Parasol. I'm going to guess it functions like uh, the um, the Parasol in Shadowlands. They give you like a slow fall when you have it out, which is kind of cool. This is the fox again? It is another fox, yeah. It is the, both the one in the store. It's like the dark Valentine's Day look with like dark purple fox. This one's like normal pink, like a brighter pink. There's supposed to be also a blue version or blue variation of it. But I'm surprised we're not seeing it here. So maybe that's going to be for like someone else. Then we got the Alabaster Storm Talon and the Thunderwing, which is like store stuff. We've seen it before. We got the uh, Fine Shirt. We got this thing, which looks like something we had before, but apparently not. Otherwise, it'd add returning in there. Uh, we got like the cape thing, shoulder cape thing of like the blue and turquoise variety. Turquoise, mostly stuff here with like the also sarongs. We got the cloak, also turquoise. We got the uh, teal gown. Looks good in my opinion. We got the crown. They actually had this before. Unless it's like supposed to be different. But it looks like something they already had. They got the masquerade helms. I actually kind of like these. This is kind of neat. And then you got the big one, which is like a Sky Captain formal attire. I'm just thinking grab this and grab a... I'm thinking grab this a t a full mog. I'm thinking maybe grab like gown and just kind of... Maybe a mask too and just call it. But then we got mogs. We got weapons. They're cool. Like at least they're 50 tender, right? So it's not the crazy. The uh, shield is actually kind of neat. Weapon nodes are returning. This is pretty cool. I like this one too. Arsenal Skyborne Blades. I want this one too. So actually, I might want to grab these. But the bonus reward is a pet. Like, okay. I feel like it's fine to have pets on the trading post. And I feel like players should be able to buy pets. I don't think pets should cost a lot because, like, it's a pet, right? You just got to have it with you for pet battles or just have it out or whatever. But that's about it. They don't really serve much of a function. You can't ride it like a mount. You can show it off with the mog. It just there follows you. So I guess that's kind of cool. But that's like the reward for the month. And it's Teal. Teal's grandparents told him there were mice that discovered Azra. There were also champion fibbers. 
<laughs> I mean, it's kind of cool, but like, I feel like a mount or like a dope mog should be the monthly reward. You know what I mean? Because at least in a mount, you can ride it and show it off, but like with a pet. Like, last time we got a pet, like, no one runs with it. It just sits in everyone's like collections. Or some people even skipped out that month too. And I feel like the pet should have maybe been one of the things that you get can buy, right? Maybe what they should have done is they made the mount with the thing that you can earn for the month. That would have been better. I feel like they should have reversed it, man. At least it's better than the Rolex. I don't know. Even the watch is like something you wear. It's at least kind of unique. You know? Even the watch is like at least it's something you can show off when you carry it, sir. Right? I feel like a mount or a mog probably fits a lot better than a pet. You know? Like, like honestly, if, if the masks were the... I mean, I would take the masks over the pet, like, honestly, or even like the full set would have been cool, too. Like, yeah, that's what I would have done, honestly. I don't care for the watch always hidden. Yeah, I, well, so you have to have like specific mugs to show off the watch and stuff, right? You have to have a very specific mug because it's like a bracer or whatever. But it's the same thing with like the corsage thing, the flower thing on the wrist. You got to really like figure out a mug in order to show it off. But like, at least you can see it. At least you can make it show. You can show it off. To some degree, at least it's a moggy character can wear, and like someone will look at your character and notice it. But like a pet, I don't know, man. That's how I feel about it, though. That's how I feel. Uh, okay, over the watch, I was in. Yeah, I think Sky Captain should be in the monthly reward. I think the, the Sky Captain attire could have been easily an awesome one, or the mount. I feel like the mount would have been awesome too, but just because you're a P file. Because I feel like people love mounts, people like mogs. Those ones I think should have been like the front stand in, but yeah. I mean, I guess it's kind of neat. Uh, just phasing today. I'm tired. Hey, what's up, Brad? I do my bed. Hey, I just fa passing. Oh, all good, all good, all good. I read it as phasing, and I was like, I get hit by Trickster Rogue now. What the hell's happening? <laughs> oh man. Oh, more Diabolus. Hold on. They got even more clarifications on Diabolus in the blue post. All right. We noticed some points that could benefit from additional clarification. The Demon Barrage will cast Incinerate or Destruction for Destruction rather than Shadow Bolt. This is missing from our blog post and will be added. Diabolic Ritual will be tuned as per specialization basis. That means the final numbers may be different for each spec to achieve similar cadence between the two. However, the overall mechanical will remain the same. So I guess it's talking about like the actual mechanics of the demons or the damage output that you get to do. I guess it's kind of neat. Make a turn for Diabolus re talent reworks. Express concerns Diabolus would work between demonology and destruction. His entire talent is based on soul shard consumption. As of right now, Dragonfly demonology generates and spends soul shards faster than destruction. Make a Diabolic Ritual something more powerful. Okay, that's a good point. That's a good point. So they're basically going to tune the amount of like soul shards they need and like, soul shards you need to consume or whatever. That thing is fine. I love the Di Diabolus. Like, I like the idea behind that talent. And it's good that they notice, like, hey, we're gonna make sure that incinerate shadow bolt functions for Destro to benefit Destro as much as possible. That means all the talents are scaled with incinerate are not going to make it even better. Double which will be to personalization. Find numbers as in like the amount of like soul shards you gotta spend, I guess, whatever needed to be spent. Incinerate fire brims are gonna go ham. I know, dude, it's gonna be a Gatling gun. I am excited, dude. It's gonna be so good. At least I'm hoping it'll be good. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let me phase quick, reset, and vanish a little bit. Exactly, exactly. Dude. I'll faint on it. I'll hit you with a faint. You get hit with a hidden blade. Don't worry about it. You know, it's it's whatever. That stuff happens once in a while. But like, yeah. <laughs> man. I'm tired? All good, man. All good. I'm pretty tired too, honestly. I didn't get much sleep last night. So I'm here. I honestly feel like I should be sleeping. I want to be napping. But here we are, man. Here we are. <laughs> All right. But yeah, this is good stuff, man. Instead of a machine gun, seems fine. Dude, just think about like, okay, let me let me show you exactly why it's so exciting, boys. If you don't play Destro, this is why. So destruction has a bunch of ways to buff the ability of incinerate. Incinerate, right? There's a lot of ways to buff the ability of incinerate. I just happened to incinerate, and there's so many different abilities that can buff incinerate specifically. Okay. Going back to Diabolist, right? Going back to that uh, hero talent for Diabolist. Um, you have one ability. Like, every time you use Diabolic Ritual, right? You use the Soul Shard Spender. Um, you start Diabolic Ritual. You start building and spending Soul Shards. You let that Diabolic Ritual, like, tick down faster and faster and faster. And it spawns various demons that give you a different buff. With the uh, Overlord, it just... Cleaves enemies and then take more damage. Pit Lord causes your next soul shard spender to be 
a um a ruination it becomes a different spell entirely it calls down demon fest and meteor does a bunch of aoe damage it's 100 percent crit i think no oh, dylan can't damage but not 100 percent crit but maybe you can crit and summons a wild damage, so just gotta call but then one of the other demons gives you secrets of the coven which is from mother of chaos which empowers your next shadow bolt or incinerate to become a demon fire barrage it turns the ability into a barrage which causes it to channel four shadow bolts or incinerates, I guess, or empowered versions of whatever your filler ability is at 150% effect and towards the enemy target over 1.5 seconds. So it's supposed to scale with incinerate or shadow bolt, but it basically turns that ability of like normal filler into a machine gun where you just channel a bunch of them at once. And Destro has a bunch of ways to augment it, right? So here we got Sir Gerai Technique, which buffs the damage of incinerate by 5 10%. Then you have yourself Conflagrate, which is going to reduce the cast and incinerate, so I guess the channel is going to be quicker. Um, with the talent of um, uh, Roaring Blaze, your incinerate will do 25% more damage. So keep that in mind, right? Add in 10% more damage. Let me just do this. Can I do it like this? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Can I just do it like this? Hold on. No pad. If I do it like this. Yeah. So... 10%. We'll do it like this. We got a notepad here, right? We got a notepad. 10% more damage, right? Right? All right? All right, boys? And we got 25% um, more damage here. Right? We'll keep tally of it. Um, with Fire and Brimstone, it will now cleave all nearby enemies for 25% of its damage. So cleaves for 25% to other targets. So it now hits everything around it, right? I guess we could add that towards, like, honestly, the end, right? Just after we add all, all these things. Um, with this one, physical attacks have a chance to make the next thing in uh, instant cast. I don't think that's actually going to function properly with this, but who knows, right? With this one right here, Chaos Bolt, Shadow Burn, Incinerate Deal, additional damage to targets with Immolate, two points, so that's 10% more right 10 percent more most warlocks are also going to be running eradication which is going to allow you shadow burns and chaos balls to put a debuff on the enemy so they take up to 10 percent more damage so we'll add 10 percent on top of that right hold on hold on hold on we're not done yet we're not done yet we're not done yet <laughs> then we have ourselves uh soul shards who cares we got ourselves burned to ashes where chaos bolts are rain of fire and i think shadow burns too increase the damage of an x2 incinerates by 15 percent stacking up to six times so that's 30 percent for two points 30 percent right 30 percent stack it up to six times so yeah so i don't think it's actually stacks but it's like it's a every single stack is 30 right it's not like you can get 30 two stacks 60 two stacks three stacks 90 you're just 30 but for like the next six incinerates kind of deal uh shadow burn increase the damage of next incinerate by 30%? Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, it does have Shadow Burn in there. Cool. Yeah. Next to Incinerates, that's just one. Okay, okay, so that's two. Either way, so that's 30%, but it's like for multiple Incinerates. But still, 30. For at least one single barrage of Incinerates, that's 30. And it now cleaves to 25 additional enemies. And then you can have little things like... Uh... Like, consuming soul shards can grant you mastery, so it could be a damage buff right there alone. But you're looking at a 10%, 25%, 10%, 10%, 30%, and 25% of whatever single target damage now cleaves to everything else. So this is why when we say it's going to be a machine gun, right? A machine gun burst of incinerate with a Diabolus talent right here with a Demon Fire Barrage. It is an actual machine gun. You're going to be Gatling gunning things. It's going to be so fun. Like when you get the proc and you get everything set up and everything. Oh, it's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be beautiful. It's a 235 buff if you line it all up. Yeah, everything is multiplicative, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's additive. But yeah, altogether, it'll be real strong. If you go demo and look at the sacrifice uh, souls, you'll see why it's going to be insane for demo. If you go to demonology, look for sacrifice souls. Sacrifice souls. Is this it? Shadow Bolts and Demon Balls deal 2% additional damage when you have Demon Summoned. Give me how many how many demons are you gonna have summoned like at the at your apex? How many demons are you gonna have summoned like at your apex? I guess there's actually other modifiers too, right? Shadow Flame damage increase. Then we're gonna do a burst. Yeah, sure. 
Yeah, for Demonology, that's another one, actually. Shadow Bolt. So we'll just buff Shadow Bolt. Shadow Bolt. Everything that buffs Shadow Bolt, but also, like, debuffs and stuff. We can do that, too. So for Destruction, we're going to have, what, 10% from here? We're, we're on another portal. Uh, you know what? Let's try Let's try going for, like, a maximum amount of damage. So if you want to use another portal, you can, yeah. If you want to, like, really try to see if we can cheese it out the best we can, might as well. Demon Bolt. Uh, the damage from a demon ball by 10%. That's sh not shot about though. Uh, so that's like what 20% more damage from here. Then you got um, shot about the chance to make an X wall stalkers do whatever. Uh, potentially you can have up to possibly 60% additional damage from the next shot bolt, right? So potentially 60% here. So actually, you could line something up with uh, Demonology. I just think as Zemo, it'll be a little bit more like complex to line all these things up at once, right? Because Stolen Power has its own like stacking thing that you gotta manage. I feel like for Destiny, it's gonna be much easier. But like, if you want to do Apex of it, right? Now the portal plus together with Sacrifice Souls. Like, how many demons are we looking at? Because that's just that number times like two. So I'm gonna guess at least maybe 20, right? At least if you have 10 demons, that's 20% more damage. But if you can get like 30, that's. 60 that's pretty good i don't know if you can actually does each game count i believe so yeah it says here for every demon you have someone but i believe it does mean like every single imp that you have someone so you probably could do some cheesy right we just mostly go for imps and you try to like play around the whole summoning imps and have a chance to gain all the hand of good dance for free kind of deal so you could roll multiple imps all at once or whatever maybe that is always a possibility okay so you have one two three wait each one of the, uh, hold on, question, real quick, real quick. Each one of the imps, the bars for imps, there's three demons in one, right? Oh no, it actually says right here how many you have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, no. First number is the amount summoned. Oh, okay. So there's one? Okay. Okay, so it's gonna be like what? Let me just write it out. So there's, uh... One, that's six, six, four, five. Why is it summoning four and five? Or is it like doubling up? One? <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on, I might, I might need to get a calculator for this one. <laughs> that's a lot of demons to add up. Hold on. Mason Jake's screenshot here. Hold on, let me see if I can pull it up so you guys can see it. All right, so we have the uh, main tyrant, right? And it looks like one imp. Six, six, four, five. Then you have two dread hounds. One fell guard, one wrath guard, one bat, one dog thing, one Xavius looking thing, one char hound, one wrath guard again, another char hound. So 33. Okay. So that's like full nether portal and everything up. All right. So we're looking at nether portal and 33. 33 times two. I mean, 66, right? Damn, that's a sizable. So if you could combine 10%, 20%, 60%, and 66, and I wonder if there's any other buffs you can actually put together, like Felgar's active while demonstrate soccer's additional damage. That's not really doing it. Felgar, 20% additional damage, blah, blah, blah. Uh, each time Felstrom deals damage, it increases the damage your target takes from you and your pads by up to 5%. So potentially 5% there too, right? Because I'm pretty sure that's going to be pretty easy to maintain. And I wonder if I'm missing anything else where it's like additional shadow damage. Wild Imp, Hanago Dawn. I'm just trying to see like if there's anything else like above your Shadow Bolt specifically. Tyrant? Increases the damage of your demons by 50% while damage your target. So you bust your demons, not you specifically. Okay. That is some another thing that I would want to like look into. Your other demons are inspired, so expendables wouldn't even buff you. Okay. Um, I think it's all of it, right? I think it's all of it. Hold on. So this is more or less what we're looking at, boys. Warlock community thinks cata uh, Cataclysm will be separated from a choice node since there's a Cataclysm-specific hero thing. Yeah, it makes sense for them. I honestly, I think Cataclysm should be baseline. I think that'd be cool if Cataclysm was baseline, honestly. But yeah, I, I, I think it'd be good. <laughs> you could probably take one of the talents, like Havoc, make it passive. You remove some of the talents above Havoc or maybe just keep them, but then just put Cataclysm there instead, right? Like, just make, give us Cataclysm. <laughs> should we get a Shadowcrash treatment? Yeah, it definitely. Well, I think it should just be baseline. I don't know about Shadowcrash treatment, because Shadowcrash is already. What do you mean, Shadowcrash treatment? Because it already does dots, right? You know what you need? You got Shadowcrash treatment. Vile Taint. That's the one that needs a Shadowcrash treatment. That's for sure. Ew, I mean, missing Pit Lord in there. 
Um, no, Pit Lord, Pit Lord, big baby. We don't don't need him. Yeah, Pit Lords are not that good anymore. Yeah, so this could be pretty good. I mean, like, it just lines up perfectly. My only question would be, it's a question of, and that's just my inexperience, is stolen power. Would that line up, like, naturally with a big go? You know, wild imps and fireballs, cast fireball, you gain application stolen power. I just don't think you'll ever line up all of these things together with that pet someone. I feel like Destro will have a lot better control of it. But, like, at the apex of damage, oh, this will be fun to test out. You know what I mean? This would be very fun to test out. Imagine just how big of a Gatling gun shadow bolt you could do with it. I think that'd be really cool. Also, I wonder how many like resources you're gonna get. Because for Destro, that's of oh, demonology, it's gonna be a lot of resources. For Destro, I feel like it's gonna be more manageable because it generates do it generate soul shards, but not a guaranteed soul shard, just like a part of a soul shard. So it's gonna be multiple parts in four. But for uh, demonology, that's just four soul shards. In a single channel that seems like a lot <laughs> you know <laughs> but like this doesn't seem that bad like I, I, you know what this this stuff got me gets me excited man this is the stuff that gets me excited why am i deceived blizzard please hello is the game okay or are we dead chat is the game okay or are we dead or are we dead Uh, I found a sacrifice those week or I'm a test it. Go for it. Yeah, just, I don't know. Like, maybe it'll do super, super well. I'm hoping it does. I hope it, you can, like, line it up or something. All right. Also, besides this, Cataclysm Beta. I guess we got to wait until Cataclysm Beta is out, if it ever comes out, man. But, like, the idea is it should be out soonish, from what I can tell. Right? Because let me show what I found. Let me show what I found. There's, like, snippets of, like, in-game code stuff. Uh, here we go. I just screenshotted it. But there's what we got. We got game, background, World of Warcraft, background, ca classic, Cataclysm V2. And so background V, Cataclysm Classic, blah, blah, blah. Lego V2, logo V2. Types, Cataclysm Beta, Depreciator Falls, name, World of Warcraft, Cataclysm Full, Override, Product ID, WoW C, Regional Permission Flag. So it's WoW 3 Project. They've been kind of working on the background for a bit. And the fact that it's Depreciated Falls means that it should be coming online soon. We don't know when, but we just know it's soon. But yeah, default requires account. That's it, yeah. So it should be beta sometime soon, boys. And I'm signed up for it. Did you come for act? We did, Luke, we did. We got the CE. Let me show you the CE real quick, man. Let me show you the CE up on the mage because we get achievements anyway. But that should be out soon, man. And I'm excited because I played Katam. Like I didn't play like a lot of classes in Katam, but that was like expansion when I started, man. That was fun. Yeah, cutting edge for Ag the Blazing, dude. And now we have the title of The Blazing. <laughs> Which is like the fun well, a funny title, honestly. It's like it's a good title. Blazing, the blazing. So now we have uh Zuckles and Guild. So for Zuckles to have the title of the blazing, it's just so fitting. Giga Week, yeah, just Shadow Bolt by himself are just not that strong, man. Just Shadow Bolt's like a single bolt could be maybe really, really good, but yeah, it's just it's just a little rough. Yeah, like just Shadow Bolts themselves are not that strong. But like with this buff and everything where it does 150% more damage and you channel a bunch of them and you got all the other buffs on top of it, I think that's going to maybe make it a little better. But yeah, it's good otherwise, I think. But yeah, we got him down. That's hell yeah, man. Thanks. Yeah, we're, good. we're taking a break this week. We're going to be uh, coming back in next week and uh, doing reclears and having some fun with the raid. Part of it is going to be uh, recruiting... Uh, couple of bodies that were missing on the roster but that's how it is with every single raid right raid ends so people just take a break until an expansion or people are just moving on to different guilds or more playing more casually or whatever pit lord is under as bolt yeah pit lord does doesn't do any damage anymore i kind of liked when pit lord did a lot of damage but like making so many profiles that are all about pit lord i thought was a bit much and they kind of tuned him back by quite a bit i and they created more of like a sustained play style where Pit Lord is just like a little bit of a bonus, but the overall damage he does now is a lot lower than it used to be, man. He used to be big powerhouse, but that's when we were very much CD heavy as a class. But yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of I don't know. I feel weird about it because on one hand I like Pit Lord and I like demons to be strong, but like when they basically just weaken a demon and that's all you really get, 
I don't know, man. It just it feels weird. I guess is the best way to put it. Let's go do my rogue, man. Let's play my rogue. Also, the game seems like it's very, very laggy. I don't know what's happening today, but it definitely is feeling very, very laggy. Let's play rogue, man. It's very rogue. Should I play like a full ambush single target build or just go like big giga AOE? What do you guys think? Because I want to do like a real key. Maybe like one I like, can actually get score from. Because I don't think I have too many high tyrannicals, I don't think. Or at least there's some kind of tyrannical that maybe I could do. That's like decent. Do, 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 do. Uh oh. I meant to do a lot of this in the background. Uh. Uh. Looks like people are mostly still playing the keep it rolling, even on this week. Wait, could I see the week? Dragonflight, Mythic Plus, DPS. E yeah, it looks like they're still playing to keep it rolling. That'll do. We'll do that. Those have been DDoS. Oh, well, that makes sense now. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, Graceful Guy was on cooldown. The hell's Graceful? Oh, that? Okay, <laughs> I can't press faint anymore. I won't mind. Faint is banned. Yeah, I didn't realize. I wonder if I could still do a cure or two. I want to try. What's up, Tim Jedi? You're my guy. I hope you're having a good my man. Uh, I run Hidden Opportunity for a key, and I'm really unsure which one I prefer. Yeah, Hidden Opportunity is good. It's just better for like pure single target damage, but like keep it rolling because it seems like what, what a lot of people are still playing. I need. What key do I need? Like, you know what? A better Murs on Rise would probably do it. Maybe we do a rise because they nerfed the hell out of it. That or a better fall. Fall, rise. Which one is less a... Does... Man, I don't know. I'll, I'll look it up. Rise 23, maybe? <laughs> Hold on, wait, really? Rise, any rise? Is, it, is rise working? Yeah, nobody said rise. Hold on. Fall 23? There's one person doing fall 23. You know what? Let's just do like a 24. Let's like see what we got. In terms of keys or whatever. Or 23 maybe? 23, 22. Or are they being DDoS and people are just not really playing? Because it might be one of those things where people are like holding back. Maybe I should do at least a Natal. Let me do a Natal, just because there's a chance you can get the Trinket. And that thing is still really good for me. Lego tonight? Oh, yeah, I definitely want to try for the Lego this evening. Yeah, definitely. I want to try for it. I'm going to bring the Warrior, because the Warrior has gear, and I should be able to get on Heroic. And I've got, like, the most amount of, like, um, runs on Farak on the Warrior, so I should have the best chances. And I'll leave the DK as, like, that last chance scenario for last, because... I don't think the DK could do much more than a normal. Like, it was a miracle that I got into Heroic, but that's about it. Let's get some really good stuff. Currently, experience just the extra and high latency players. And I can work to fix the issue. Yeah, I wonder if that's like that in... Oh, wow. Yeah, latency is not 600. That's a... Uh, that seems like a lot. That's a lot of latency. I wonder if that's like that in dungeons, though. Let's do, uh, Tal 20 to 24, 25. Is there really no Atals? Man. You're gonna need us? I saw, I saw. Oh, God. Am I actually gonna have to do, like, a lower Atal? Because I want to get gear from a child that's like viable. Like something that's fun though. I want to do fun at all. I'm going to try to join some groups. Let's see if I get any bites. Uh, I doubt ping is 500. I'm going to 17 fall. Wait, is it like that in the fall itself? Like, is the ping continuing to stay in that high end inside of an instance? Or is it just like world ping? Because sometimes, like, instances are fine, but the world is, like, all kinds of busted. Yeah. Do, 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 do. We'll see if anybody signs up, man. Maybe nobody's playing because of a high AMS. That'd be crazy. I ran VFD with friends earlier, got 9 items and a fresh zinc, 25 mates. Let's go. That's huge. 
Oh, dude, they XP buff. I'm not even playing SOD until they get like speed buff and the gold buff, dude. I'm not playing. It's just not happening. I got a rage tonight, but that's about it. <laughs> mm. And when they're even the raid, I'm not sure about honestly. Like no more. At least it's like a guild group or something. But like, it's a guild group that got like ten people, and they had me initially in there, and then we're like. Got 11th people, and then I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll sign up before the other guy does. And then I basically got third wheeled out. They were like, ooh, we have a druid, and we have a feral, and we have a destro, and a bunkin. I was like, can we just go by, like, who signed up first then? Because I was, like, one of the first people signed up. They were like, ooh, but we already have a druid. I was like, I get it, I get it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bounce. Thanks. <laughs> it was weird. But now they're missing a guy, so they're, like, looking for an extra. I don't even know if I want to. I send out, but I'm like, I might just like flake with them. I don't really know. You know what I mean? No loyalty. So I don't know if I want to really be loyal either or whatever. I don't know, man. It's weird. Also, bugging uh, uh, Nomer has been, it's, I don't know what it is, man. It's, it's been tough. It's actually been the toughest raid I've ever seen. Not from a, like, a mechanics perspective, but from like, um, I never realized that so many people play the game like SOD or Classic so casually. And no more, I ran the raid a couple of times like full all the way and it's, it's a little bit more challenging than BFD, like the whole bombs and the buttons thing that you gotta do with the, the final boss compared to like any of the bosses in BFD, right? The final boss is just like as a DPS, I was a healer, don't stand when you turn to breathe at you. And they may maybe kill the ads unless the tanks don't even do the ad strat. And that's really it. That's you don't really have to do anything, right? It's mostly a tank swap and then spawning ads, bringing the ads to the DPS, nuking them down. But nothing really does anything, right? There's not a lot of crazy like wild mechanics, but Nomer is like a step up, but like it's like a little bit of a step up. Like it's like I'm trying to be fair. Like if you're super casual. And you're just kind of uh, AFKing through a lot of the fights and you're not really paying attention. Yeah, Nomer's going to punish you. But, like, compared to BFD. But also, like, I don't know. Maybe it's just after my time spent on doing Farak over and over and over and over, right? Maybe from there I'm just, like, so battle-hardened and I'm just like, all right, I'm eyes peeled, looking out for every little mechanic. Farak just installed that PTSD in my brain and I'm just, like, super hyper-aware. And it's, like, maybe it's just, like, it's a me problem, right? I am super hyper-aware, but, like, that's just not the community that they have over there. But, like, no more pugging has been just not a fun experience, let me tell you. It's been tough, man. Alliance is the biggest problem. Is that it? Is, is the Alliance the more casual players? The Horde is, like, hardcore? Because I do remember, like, it was a little bit of a reverse. It was a bit of a flip um, on the other side, right? Like, uh, when me and you were playing on EU on the Horde side, I felt like people were a little bit too hardcore. Like, they wanted for you to have every item pre biz Make sure you have at least revered with the uh, PvP faction so you have all, like, your rings or whatever other items, right? Um... Make sure you have like your Black Fathoms buff or whatever buffs that are out there. And I'm like, I don't really play classic. I don't really know world buffs super well. Like I'm just not super familiar. So I'm just like, like I'm joining the group and they look me over and then they boot me without explanation. I'm like, okay. And then they whisper me like, we got another rogue. Thanks. <laughs> and then I'm like, try to another group. They look me over, right? I fly all the way to TB. I come back and they look me over, kick me out immediately. I'm like, wait, what am I missing? And I'm looking at everybody else like, oh, he's got world buffs. Oh, he's got world buffs. I'm like, okay, how to Google how to get this world buff? How to get this world buff? What I gotta wait for this one? Why do I just have to AFK and just be lucky? And just be in town when somebody like turns in a pearl or whatever. So it was like one of those things where I just felt like, man, BFD is so easy, but like, you don't really, do, you, do you really need the boss to kill all the bosses? So it just was in the opposite side. So like, oh man, maybe it's like people are getting too serious. But now it's like the flip side, where it's like, oh, okay, these mechanics are a little too hard. So it's like, man, <laughs> I can't win. It's like a little, it's actually very difficult to play. It's, it's became, it becomes like very difficult to like play and have a good time. Like you'll eventually find a group that's like a lot more relaxed or whatever, but I still need one. I mean, I summon, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go. That guy's just ruined. <laughs> Go. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure I summoned earlier, right? I summoned all of them? But I guess not. Uh, most of the alliance of the server has gone away now. You know, most of the alliance of the server have they really? Okay. Neat. 
see the aspects. Okay, I'm guessing that guy maybe is gonna make his way over here. More fun demo. Is that on retail? Yeah. Yeah, that's another thing too. I actually stopped seeing a lot of like good demonology warlock tanks. Like every demon warlock that I run with, I don't know what it is. It's just I've noticed they're just squish. I don't know if maybe they just like have gotten like less buffs in BFD, or just like maybe it's the 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 people on the server that are pugging or whatever. But yeah, there was this other group that was like, okay, this is so funny too, right? I eventually did get into a Noma run for like a pug, right? They got most of the bosses down except for like the last two. They just couldn't do them at all. But like, so they said like they had, um, for them, they did, uh, what is it? They said that they were like three out of six. So I was like, okay, they got the first three bosses. That's going to be a breeze, right? We're going to the first guy and the boss is taking zero damage. And like everybody's hitting the buttons and doing stuff, but he's taking zero damage. Took us a couple of wipes to kill the first boss, and that's the easy one. And then we were, what? What is the second boss? Is a slime? We wiped a couple of times on that one. And then it was the um, crowd pummeler. We didn't wipe on crowd pummeler. That was pretty easy. But people were getting knocked off, like every third uh, crowd pummel that he did, or whatever shockwave thing he did. So I was like, uh oh, is, are we gonna be able to kill it? We still killed it. And then it was like the electric justice guy it's like the little you know diaper baby guy in the mech or whatever that dude um it was a bit rough like these guys never done it before so they had a strategy where they wanted to keep moving the boss all around and keep shuffling people in and now to be like uh, the zappers and like the person with the um the aoe debuff they didn't want to run away from the group they for some reason just like kept running it into the range and just standing on top of them so it was like a lot of damage going out and they kept moving the boss the entire time. So I'm just DPS as a boomkin and then boss is out of range. So I'm having to run. He knocks you back. I'm having to keep running. I'm having to throw in dots. That's pretty mana consuming up until recently. It was like, it was just so like backwards. It was just like, at some point I just started healing. At some point I just started healing because eventually the boss will die. And it just, it's better if I just like throw in a heal or two and just do the mechanics properly. That's it. That's all I can do. <laughs> and we had like, <laughs> I'll just die constantly. But that would take us a couple of pulls. And then the boss died and I thought, okay, cool. We, uh, okay, we, we, we finally get it right. And I think Minaj is pretty easy. Because all you have to do is like kite the two chicken and squirrel. One tank got those. The other tank got the dragon. You just put them together until the dragon gets angry and you move away. And I DPS the, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, I think he has a sheep and I thought, oh, that actually would be easier than the next guy. And I'm like, okay, I'm basically ready. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to run out or whatever. And I'm like, okay, I'm the only one running to the elevator. What about what's happening? I turn around and they're all standing in front of the boss taking screenshots. Like it's, they just killed Farak. And I was like, oh, dude, like on one hand, it's been a struggle to raid with this random pug. And like the mechanics and everything is just, just done so backwards and the damage is non-existent. But on the other hand, look at them taking a screenshot with a dead boss dude, all lined up, do, doing animations and stuff or whatever, right? Emoting or whatever. And it's like, on one hand, it's like, I just want to move on to the next boss. <laughs> That's a lot of wipes you've done so far. But also like, for them, it's like the happiest moment of their life. So it's like, I can't really even get angry that much, dude. <laughs> like, any, like, frustrations that I had, I felt like melted at that point. I was like, dude, I, I, I can't get mad at that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, even we killed for when we killed Frack and it was like so many pulls and it was way after Hall of Fame and we were just so over it. Even we lined up to take a picture and it was like a nice wholesome moment for a second. You know what I mean? <laughs> the hero himself and it's going, uh, he did a kill for Akat. Yes, we did. We actually did it, Behem. We killed him, um, I forget, last week. So this week we're taking a break. But Cutting Edge, Mythic for Ak, got it unlocked, my guy. Got it unlocked. <laughs> we got the Blazing title. Gonna wait five minutes. Are we waiting for Hellforge? He's like a warrior, right? We can swap him out for a Lust. Wait, we don't even have a Lust. Yeah, let's swap him out for like a evoker. We probably need a lust. Unless you wanted like unless it's a friend of his or whatever. We probably could use a lust. It's a 23, so maybe. I don't know. It's up to them. I don't think it matters for me. Uh we were so happy when uh look how much you achieved. Everyone else like um, you know, <laughs> trash, right? I, I, I look, uh, and on one hand it's like I don't think any of the mechanics, like it has been frustrating doing no more gun pugging. Because none of the mechanics are really all that difficult. But I guess it depends on like your experience, right? Like BFD, I ran through it with um, Jake and I never felt like any of that fight is all that difficult. 
like there's some jank in terms of like healers and having to taunt to pick up at bosses and like if a tank if a boss resists a taunt like it's super annoying but for the most part it's like pretty straightforward pretty easy right there's like one or two mechanics for you to worry about and no Morgan isn't really that much different it's like a slight step up from that but like not too much but like i also you know play the game at, i, I want to say generally high ish end i'd say you know uh at least i like to think so and then we do cutting edge or mythic rating or whatever so try to get ce every single tier but uh yeah i don't know so for me maybe it's like all these mechanics seem really really simple really really easy and it's like when i see other people like kind of struggling nerve by the way oh that is a lot less damage for raptor though like to be fair that is a lot less damage that second raptor that is a lot less damage like it used to be basically melee or above melee so like it is noticeable it is still going to be pretty up there but 30 percent is a pretty big nerf like 30 percent is huge like as a number and, but they did also reduce the armor stuff i think did we swap out a warrior for another warrior okay i mean we got a guy <laughs> We don't have a loss, but I guess it's okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. That's fine. That's good. Are you over here? Are you in stone? This guy is here. He got a Lego. Boarding or need summons? My guy, we're already in. We're already there to go. What is he doing? You know what I mean? Uh, if you want to carry my druid for a mount of Mythic Barak, I'd love you, LMA. <laughs> Yo, once everybody gets the mounts, man, maybe, maybe, maybe. But we, we want us to get mounts for ourselves too, man. I want to be able to ride my little owl. I think it's going to be an awesome mount. Plus, with dragon riding, you heading forward into the expansion. That's going to be great. It's going to let a kid be the happiest you can possibly be. His controller feels like that. No, you don't You don't get the credit for breathing. <laughs> I don't I guess. I guess everybody's different, though. You know what I mean? Because on one hand, like, that's someone's, like, content, man. That's someone's, like, and that's someone's difficulty of content. And I don't want to, like, take it away from them. But, yeah, I don't know. Even though I don't really consider, like, No More Gone or anything in there really all that difficult. But it has been, like, a bit of a pain plug in it. It's just, like, kind of annoying, and it just makes me want to do it less. Right? Like, it actually kind of kills the vibe of SOD a little for me. Like, to be honest. And I don't want to be like a mean guy or whatever, but it might be one of those things that will probably make me want to like dip out and not really play SOD nearly as much as I have been so far. Like it's been fun, but I don't know. One of those weird things, man, you know? Let's see if I remember how to play Keep It Rolling at all. Sort of. I'm going to close this. Am I getting a Vanish off? Maybe? Oh. Poor guy. I should probably, also probably could have popped a potion, huh? Is this close enough? Ah, yeah, I'm thinking do this. Oh, this is gonna suck. I'm gonna try to see if I can line this side it. Yeah, you can line it at least. A little bit cheesy, but you can light it. Technically. Oh, it's super annoying though. Hold on, I can blind it, but we don't have a way. We need a fear. Oh, I mean, it might be... Dead? Possibly? Where's he going? <laughs> okay, he, yeah, he used to run back. He's a run back pronto. We're in all the weird spot. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like where we are at all. Don't have a clock, so we're just gonna chill. Come back in. Please don't do me. Nice. I mean, not nice for him, but nice for me. Why? He's like, why? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I got clock for this one, so I'm just gonna shell. Stay in. He's lost Lich Borning. Target me, maybe? Nope, okay. Wow, easy boss. Just don't run away from him. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Uh, Dallas nice guy can blame him and wipe on him. Dude, honestly, man, honestly. I gotta stop being nice. I just gotta start saying how I feel, man. I watch my mouth too much. That's my problem. Also, am I gonna have to be blinding these things? Or do they got it? Okay, in cap he's got it, but like the other one, I don't know, man. Normally I see a Warlock fee or Insta. Oh, I forgot. Shades, dude. That's so weird. Yeah, Shades don't spawn on those guys at all. Not on little guys at the very least. I need to catch a restyle if I can. The drone is rolling a little longer if possible. But I think I lost it there. I got blind if we need it. Um, blind these guys. Warlock? Um, I guess we just don't have an. Uh, I, I, a stop? Warlock? Should I say something? That's gonna be bad. Like, if this is how it's gonna go, yeah, that's not gonna be great. Because Warlocks can just fear him and that's it, right? Or do they change that? Oh, having an invasion for this is so nice. Literally can ignore the ads. The stealthy, yeah, he did. Nice, good knock. Oh man, having sort of cooldown evasion is so nice. Oh, that's so good. What a quality change, man. Except when I don't have it. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, try to with this thing as much as I can. Is it going to start off with bugs? Is it really? I don't know. So far this seems not fine. You just got to CC. That's all you got to do. Right? Like, I don't know. Maybe I'll try to look at my other lower geared characters and maybe it'll feel a lot different. Oh god. What? Uh, uh, hi. Hi. What did I get hit by there? <laughs> they gave me dome. Bro, what do we gotta do, man? I can't do anything. I can't. I can't stop him. I can stop him now. Warlock friend, can you feel those ads? Hold on. I don't think he Warlock knows even. I'm gonna ask him after this. Need to get in stealth so I can actually like reset here. Are we gonna skippy? Maybe. Oh man, ouch! Yeah, that's an ouch. I'm gonna stun this.
X, yeah, I can stop it. Sorry, friend. I could blind him for a second. But now I'm not gonna have anything for the ghost suit. That was the worst part. Yeah, I can't really stop this either, unless I do this. Nice, I could do that. Bro. Warlock, please. Warlock, my guy. You can't be- you can't be- Warlock! Warlock, can we get a fear on the Incorp? Warlock, please! Bro. Bro! <laughs> Warlock. Warlock. Plus, fear, Incorp. Por favor. <laughs> Por favor, my guy. Por favor. <laughs> oh, man. My guy. <laughs> like, what? I'm just watching those things just cast, and it's like, yeah, I, dude, I can try to get them, but like, you can immediately like, knock him out and remove him out of the game when you fear him. In cap works too, but like, man. Okay, uh, we're gonna do one of these. So good, get the hell out of dodge. Because then I can use blind for AoE on the ads, and I, I can't see a blind for those things at all. I, I can't. Like maybe if it was like pumping damage and something, right? Maybe it's like, nah, I don't want to, I don't want to waste a global to, <laughs> I don't want to waste a global for one. Then maybe it's like I couldn't understand, but it's not like he's really pumping either. Like just, just look at the numbers, look at the details. Like he's doing okay damage, but like, it's not like wild or anything, you know? I just. I, uh, normally, this is what rogues do. You usually say blinds for AoE. That's our AoE disruption. Plus, if you run the uh, Blackjack, that could be also damage reduction for enemies too. So that could be nice for tanks variability. It's overall a really good button. Usually, we use it for like group disruptions rather than single target disruptions. Kidney, I can do. It's just a kidney will not hold them. But if you fear them, it kill takes it out of the game entirely, right? You don't have to worry about that ad at all. Yeah, I need to be a little bit faster than mine. I'm worried. I at least I have a blind for this one. Oh, I could blind that one. Okay. <laughs> Again, I had to do it, dude. I had to take care of it. Because the warlock won't. Man, that's rough. Yeah, I don't know think this guy's gonna take ghosties at all anymore. I don't know. It's gonna be annoying, but like it's doable, but it's just gonna be very annoying. Because it means I have to like micromanage stuff a lot more. But I guess I will. So dumb. It's a class that can easily deal with it, and he just won't. So I don't really know what's going through his mind. Uh oh, that guy's dead. Uh, we're gonna cloak. Ghosties? Okay, I got a blind for this one. If the monk takes care of one, I can get the other. Yeah, I'll just... I mean, he doesn't even send a fear or anything. Oh no, he did send a fear that time. Okay. He's like trying to get him if he can. At least he's trying. Except you feared the guy that got in cap for like a good second or two. <laughs> you know, that's unlucky. You book him and give you an analysis or make uh, of uh, France region. I don't know, man. Last time they had a Pokemon game, it kind of came out a little fried, honestly. Yeah, last few Pokemon games have been pretty fried, man. I don't know. I don't know. Is it like, is it really excited? Is it worth getting excited for it? Because like, I'm just I'm afraid that it's going to be fried again. I got nothing here. How about Monk if you can heal us? Three, two, one. It 
is not ready yet. I really wish we would like stack them together next to the guy that's shooting. Tanks do this a lot. They will take him away from the guy that's shooting, but like he still can buff him from a distance. Or like if you put them all together, then you don't have to worry about the. Uh, you can just clear them all down. It's a little bit easier. Like, look. Oh, I guess they're just dead. That makes sense. Monk, yeah, Monk is good at that. He's, he's doing his job. Man's doing well. I kill spirit, like a kill spirit rogue tree. I don't hate it, dude. I want killing spirit to be a button. So if they're trying to try killing spirit to a, uh, a, a hero tree, I'm okay with it personally. I want it to work. I want killing spirit to actually function in one way or another. Even as like a buff ability, I want it to be functional. I want to go back to playing it one day. It just hasn't really like it, it's better than where it was. It's just not quite that strong. Like it is getting played in PvP, but like besides that, it doesn't really get that much play. That's the tragic part about it. Because it is getting played just in very specific pieces of content. So I'm okay with them making it a hero town that buffs it and makes it more valuable. Perfectly cool with it. And I kind of like the talent she kind of plays around Rogue's big finisher buttons. So I'm totally cool with it. I just don't know about how the feint thing is going to go. Tying feint to like a combat button is a little weird, but otherwise it's alright. Uh, it's not a mainline game, it's a Legends RPG series. Oh, I have no idea what that's all about. I don't even know what that is. Never heard of it. I just know that they haven't produced anything good in a good bit, that's all. So I don't really know. That's like have that's like learning that CJ Project Red is making another game. I'm like, uh have you seen Cyberpunk? Have you seen the opening for Cyberpunk? Have you seen how that started? I don't know about that. It like shakes the confidence, man, you know? Yeah, they fix the game now, but like why didn't the game come out good or like complete in the first place? <laughs> or just like at least just not broken and buggy and just unplayable. You know, little things like that. Too far away. My vision's still up. I try to see if I can blind him. Are we doing boss or just pulling more? Okay, boss now, I think. Okay, I gotta stop using tricks. He's still a lead. Okay, which one am I gonna have to blind? This has got him. You got a fear. Hold on. Oh, what a god, dude. What a god. Who is this warlock, man? Who is this warlock, dude? This guy's insane. Oh my god. Do you see what he just did there? He pressed fear. That was incredible. That's my shortest kitty in the world. Thank you. <laughs> That'd be five nine nine. <laughs> oh god. Uh, 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 yeah. I thought for some reason it was close enough to shadow step, but it just didn't go off. Did you see what he did though? He hit him with the fear! I can't believe it! It's insane! Also, let me stun. Let me stun. It's gonna be like a full stun. Yeah! Beautiful. Let me also play flurry this. I've never been a fan of the way the boss is structured. Like, sh her health doesn't really matter. Right? 
Her health or the damage we do to her doesn't really matter. A lot of it is just gonna be her draining herself down to death. Alrighty. Uh, as long as we don't die and wipe to the last boss, we're chilling. And hopefully we get our Trinky. Hopefully. Should machine gun chaos bolt instead of accelerate? Should machine gun chaos bolts? You think so? I think it should I think like it's as long as it still scales with incinerate talents. I don't care what it, what you shoot out, but shooting out a bunch of machine gun uh, shadow bolts, I think would be really cool looking though. Bunch of like shadowy skulls or whatever, or I guess it's not shot skulls anymore. It's like a it's like a snot of shadow or something. Marks for you. Okay. Bum 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 bum. And I'm like, tell you why. I'm so excited to get this key done. <laughs> yeah, this guy's gonna be doing all the thinking for us. Love it. Um, I guess he wants to put us here. Eating. I, I hopefully he pings it, man. Hopefully he also just pings it. Or like we'll ping it or whatever. Um, stuck at SM cath hell, somebody to attack power for somebody to attack power. Man, at least they gotta choose dude, just wait until next week and then you got XP buff. Dude, it's gonna be so much faster. So much better. Ignored? What do you mean? Uh when you come for rack with you get the items for Firebleed Druid? For fire by druid, an item for hunter of shadow flame. I don't think we did. I know we got the uh, owl, but that's really about all. Yeah, but what do you mean by like fire by druid? Yeah, what does that mean? Oh, I don't even know. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. That's a mechanic. It's at least just one. Thank goodness. Oh, my mans. My mans, you're gonna die. Do we do s blue? Okay, we go blue. Oh, oh, poor man's. Uh, do we have a res? Tell me we have a res. Uh, I'm gonna just get up two down. Uh, do we just reset it? Probably right. Oh god. Ow. Okay, we bear as everybody, but like, man, I pull this behind here a little. I guess we gotta go circle. I don't think we go green. Green seems like a bad place to be in. <laughs> green is no good. Normally green is good. Oh, back there? Want us to go back there? That's a lot of spiders, my guy. I don't know if I want to do this. Yeah, I don't know if we want to do that. Oh, God. Oh. We probably should have went forward, I think. How many more bureaus do we have, if any? Or are we just kind of screwed? Uh, somebody's gotta get this. I can maybe kick it. That's about all I can do. I guess I'm babysitting this one. That should hopefully be it. Hopefully we're good. Uh, nope. <laughs> you know what? Let's go here. At this point, I don't even know where else to go. Oh, this is not good. That man is the only one that can really stun these things all in a way, unless we got. Oh god. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I guess we're just trying to see if we can do it the other way around. Warlock, you gotta hit whatever you can, my man. <laughs> this is gonna be rough, dude. I'm telling you. Oh no, music. I think we need to go further. Like further, further, further. Yeah, way out, way out. I'm gonna go like blue, blue, close to blue. Yeah, 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 this is. Look at that. It's so much safer here. Still, lots of damage taken. For that big AOE that she does. But like, look at that. That's so much nicer. We're still surrounded by spiders, but like, bosses taking damage. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna flip over. Oh no. Okay, okay. Hold on. Oh god. Uh, we are gonna sprint. Okay, I can blind one. Please fear one of them. Please fear one of them. Okay, I'm blind. I'm blind this one. I'm a cloak. It <laughs> don't have to kill me.
Yeah, we go here. Nice. That'll work. Oh, what? Did I not shadow dance that? I apparently didn't shadow dance that. That's a lot of spiders, man. That's a lot of spiders. A warrior. I guess you're gonna go green. Yeah. Um, faint. What is he pinging? He's pinging something. Why are you pinging that she's casting? Oh god. Honestly, running over puddles is probably better than anything else. I'm gonna hit her. I can kill her, right? I can kill the ad. Uh, man. We'll go there. I, uh, I'm gonna try to see if we can ping it properly. Okay, blind it. Uh, oh god. Uh, oh, probably not good. Yeah, I'm just gonna stun mine. Uh, oh, we're so dead, dude. Unless maybe tank lives. Tank live? Tank? You got it, right? 5%. You can do it. That guy's super slow. Just chain of ice him. That's what you gotta do. 4%. Chain of ice it. Hold on. Uh, wait. This guy. Chain it. <laughs> oh, God. He's got no health. Oh, just move. Just run. Don't give her back ever. Oh, your health. Your health. Your health. AMS, what do you think you got? Oh, bro, at least you got a bag shield. Okay, you live that. You don't have anything but soul rend. 2%, 2%. You just got a lot of spiders. Oh god, don't give the bucky bossy back. You got 4%. Your health. You got a heal. What is this shield? It does nothing. The shield does nothing. His shield does nothing. I don't know what this shield is, but it does absolutely nothing. Wow, I don't, what was that shield that he had? Because it didn't do anything. He just kept taking damage to the face. Or to the back, I guess, but still. Like, what was that? Was it like a magic shield or something? Uh, chance to call uh, aid foes covering you with a protective webbing absorbs damage. Is that what it was? It just felt like it did nothing. Can do it, only stay behind her? Dude, we tried to stay behind her. What does it even do? Anti-magic shield. Is that what it is? I don't think he had anti-magic shell there. For that long. I guess we'll try to stand next, uh, behind the boss man, but it's a lot of spiders. Does he know that? Honestly, like the BFA strats probably, I like them better. The BFA strats would just go to like safe spot. It just It shows life instead of dying. This man wants us to kind of like go where the spiders are. That's probably not the play. Like if I had to guess. Because you can go in front of the boss and you're fine. You just gotta like go in a set of circles, you go like in a, a S or in like a half pipe. Half a cir half circles. You go back. Once you go to blue, I mean that's gonna be impossible. I mean we could try, but dude, again, like we the spiders all set up that way. Like it's just not gonna happen. You know what I mean? Like it's just not happening. Unless the tank was a chain of Isis things or something. Uh it's just it's gonna reach it, yeah. I don't know man. This that 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 the worries is the dead. That we know the dead. I think it's I think it's over boys. Okay, I'm having to maneuver around spiders, like why does he want us to run through spiders? You just go in front of the boss. And then the tank runs her like to the next checkpoint. Like I guess we would drop it at circle and he would tank would take her to star. And then you never actually have to deal with it. You know what? I'm going to star, dude. I'm going to star. This is at least safer. And the tank used to just run him further. Like, he's just like keeps really inching her. You don't need to do that. 
Like there's no rule that says you have to just keep her there. I guess it's just I'm just going off of like what we did back in BFA. Like this was an <laughs> This was the strats we did then, but maybe they're not doable anymore. Maybe like they change the spiders. Or the guy just doesn't want to do it. Like here we would take it to square and he would run over to triangle. But I guess we could try no, let's go here. Yeah, me and you, man. I don't know. Just one minute. And the warlocks complain about spiders, but then the tank wants us to go through the spiders. And I think that's just going to be bad because they're all sporadic. Look at the way they move. Like, they kind of like shuffle. They move, shuffle, move, shuffle, move. Right? Let's nice try TY. This guy wouldn't even finish it, will he? Yeah, he's one of those guys. One of those tanks. Practice that spiders. Oh, I want to say so much, but I'm not going to. Practice of that spiders, boys. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's what the guy says. Unbelievable. Practice that spiders. How long was this dungeon? It's like 25 minutes. That's 25 minutes wasted, man. At least finish the key. At the very least, can we just finish the key? Because I'm trying for the trinket anyway. Oh, man. Uh, when it does become obvious he's stupid, so yeah, those guys not me. <laughs> it was uh, you guys, not me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, I don't know. It's like, I, I don't know who he watched to get the strat, but like, and maybe like the strat works if the spider's in a different spot, but that means he had to kite it very, very differently, right? It may be his, so he's running around like the inside, not the outside of the boss arena. Like if we're cutting on the outside and he wants us to go to like across and then he goes here, that's fine too. But like going behind the spiders, like we have to be pre-placed. And I think it's better if you have a full group of casters, maybe, right? Because the casters can at least be on one side, lure the spiders that direction. Then you go behind the boss, but the spiders on the side and you can get around them pretty like eventually. But you have to be pre-placed there to begin with. And I don't really know. I don't really know. Facts is on some raids, dude. Facts? Yeah, let's let me go do the raid. Yeah, that was dumb, man. That was dumb. Oh man. And like we were going pretty well too, but like what was that shield he had at the end, dude? Cause he had a mad shield, a fatty shield, and I'm pretty sure it's not an AMS. It's something else, dude. Cause he didn't have AMS up for like the uh the actual like the actual hit. He had a fat shield, but his health bar is still taking damage. Like, what shield is he grabbing? What is it protecting? How is it helping anything? What was that shield? Because it wasn't healing, it wasn't shielding anything. Blood shield? No, 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 no. Blood shield will actually protect you. No, 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 no. Blood shield is like a proper absorb where, okay. Let me explain this. Let me explain this. Let me just do it like this. Um, let me see. Uh, I guess I'll just what take a screenshot maybe. Just to make it a little bit like visualize. He had some kind of a shield that did absolutely nothing. It was like useless. He had a useless shield. Okay. So this is more or less his hell bar, dude. Right? Except we just gotta replace the hell bar right here. This is like, we're just going to remove that, right? Remove that. So that was his health bar. He had like about this, where is it? This much health of green, right? Uh, how do we do this? He had about this much health of green. And then the rest of it, like, it was like that light baby blue, whatever. That was like shield. It has like stripes or whatever, didn't it, right? How do I do this? What does it look like? Kind of like this, and then I had like little white stripes in there across. Right, someone like... I don't know. How do I do this? I guess, yeah. Nice little white stripes. That's like his shield. Whatever the hell was shielding him, right? So that's his shield. Oh, wow, it's a big shield. Oh, it's so good. Wow, wow, it's protecting him, whatever, right? Oh, wow, he has a shield. And then you're just getting smacked by the boss and his health bar still keeps going down, bro. Wait. His health bar keeps going down. What the hell? What is this doing? 
What 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 the hell is this doing for him if his health keeps taking going down? Seriously. What is this doing? What is any of this doing? Huh? What is this? Oh, it's a blood shield. Blood shield protects you so your health bar doesn't take damage. His health keeps going down with every hit. That's not a blood shield, that's something else. AMS, he didn't have AMS. He had that shield for so long at the very end, for like 30 seconds. AMS lasts for like 10 seconds. What is that? Somebody explain me what the hell this is. What is that? What the hell is that? What is that doing for him? You look like a Blood DK Talents? I play Blood Death Knight. I play Blood Death Knight to be like, oh, Maybe you should research. I don't think that's really helping. Just tell me exactly what is the shield and why the hell is it not helping his health bar? <laughs> that's what makes me think it was AMS or BS. He, AMS lasts for 10 seconds. He was uh, he had the shield for 30 seconds. That's not AMS. We can go back to the stream footage if you want to. Literally, it's I have DVR. Somebody go back and look. <laughs> Could it be a weapon or a gear proc? But what the hell does it even do if it gives you a shield but does nothing for your health bar? What does that even do? What does that even do if you're, if you're this green little bar, right? If it keeps going down, this is useless. What the hell was you running that was just so useless? What, what, what? This shouldn't be moving. When this is up, this shouldn't move at all. This should move. In fact, it should go up because you're death striking. Damage was emotional damage to the shield. Maybe, dude, maybe. Like, what was that shield? Because he had something that gave him a fatty shield, but he did nothing. I'm just like perplexed. Like, what the hell are people running? <laughs> if it is a weapon proc or gear proc, it must be the worst weapon proc or gear proc that I've ever seen. Hold on. I'm going to see. What was that guy's name? I'm going to look him up, dude. We're going to find his armory. I'm going to find his radar IO. We're going to look him up. I need to. I need. I am. I need. I'm a need to know. What the hell are people running that just like gives you the most useless item in the game? Unswamdy. Where are you? Unswamdy. Does it have his like server too? Or is he the only guy? He's the only guy named Unswamdy on Melganis. <laughs> Alright, my guy. What the hell are you running? Covering, protecting you from damage? Is that maybe what it was? Was this it? Restoring health loss during that time? Like, is. Is that what we're looking at? Does this do anything? Does anybody run this at all? Do people run that item? Out of tanks. Is it even a trinket? Hold on. Uh, 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 I guess I could just look up like Wowhead Guide on gear, see if that trinket light sets up anything there. If it does anything. So the reason to say this trinket is bad is the trinket is the reason you never be in blood loot spec when opening vault is blood or running everbloom as blood. No primary stab budget, that's the reason why they don't like it. And prog that makes Shadowlands trinket look better than this. Does this trinket not even do anything for you? 90% sure blood shield because they're refreshing it? But blood shield would actually shield you, right? Or it, like blood shield fully shields you, right? Right? Have one of a monk and I barely notice it working. Not for magic damage, but the boss does physical damage. Most of his attacks are physical. Most of Yasmin's damage. Is it magic auto attacks? There's no shot, right? Hold on. There's no shot. Because he's getting hit by Soul Feast. That's fine that it goes through. Melee Yasma, physical damage. Skewer, physical damage. Melee, physical damage. Like, you could see his health bar more or less where he's at. He's not pressing Death Strike at all. He had a Blood Shield. And then, like, the last, like, six seconds of that encounter, he just didn't press Blood Strike, Death Strike at all. So, actually, this guy doesn't even press Death Strike. I don't even know why. But he had a fatty shield. And I guess maybe you're right. Maybe there's Blood Shield. But then he takes damage to Sophie, Sophie's Shadow Remains. 
and then Sophie's takes down on him. But I guess he ran through spiders there, right? Is that what happened? He got meleeed by Yasma for 300,000. But he just keeps getting hit with melee and that's per pretty much normal, it looks like. At least it doesn't look like he's showing the boss's back. <laughs> and then the way you actually see the trinket proc, the shielding. It actually procs for like 240 and like 51. Wait, <laughs> is that real? It barely healed by the looks of it. Or at least it looks like... Look, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look. Hold on. Look. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Is that just Willem and Necropolis at the uh, defensive trinket interactions? Does it do anything? Go over healing or shielding? What do you mean? That's what I don't understand. You see how his um, health bar is like kind of shifting around? He got the melee from Yasma. Will of Necropolis heals him back because he's getting melee beyond a certain health threshold. Then you or maybe that's at the very end. No, that's for the melee. And then you have Bentelite Defense Trinket that says plus 294,000. So I guess it gave him a shield. And then it procced again in the 0 0.3 mark. And then 0 0.3, he got hit by uh, Yasma for 1.3 mil. I don't know, man. We should get a replacement from the awful trinket, then we go on to top. I don't even know if that trinket does anything. I'm starting to think the trinket doesn't even absorb anything, man. Hold on. Is it like a wowhead post on this trinket? Selling stuff out in the world, Blue Master. The trinket was good for the percent overall healing, very helpful. Trinket bear tank, the throne of tides, insane. I love it. Eighteen point one healing done. So it is doing healing, apparently. Use an option if you don't have something better. Random BGs. So people are using it. It's apparently doing stuff. I don't know, man. He had some kind of a shield on him at the very end. And it looked like he might be okay. Maybe that was a blood shield, but he's still taking, like, damage either way, though. Right? If he had a blood shield, then his health bar wouldn't be moving, right? He got hit by Skewer, his health went down, and then I guess melee, he got melee too, but his health didn't move there. So maybe that was what blood shield absorbed something. I don't really know. Then he got meleeed, his health did move down a little, or did it? Maybe you're right. Maybe it was just blood shield absorbed melee, but maybe just the magic damage that killed him. I don't know. It didn't, but he definitely didn't press death strike or anything at the very, very end there. What did I even? What did I die to? Racking pain. Okay, I was just low. There was nothing I could do. Let's have a cloak. I don't live that. This man, I think, ate a spider. I don't know, man. That was weird. That was weird. I didn't like the whole like he got a shield and then he's just dying. I should have recorded it with Shadow Play. I was thinking about it, but I thought like maybe it's a flick, maybe it'll be okay. I it was wild, man. What does it even do for him? When you have a shield that just your health bar keeps moving down. This guy gets some cooked. Some weird there. Chat remains the debuff tap him out. It's hard to tell because like it looks like he gets meleeed, but his health bar doesn't move anywhere. And like he gets hit by a magic hit or he gets a shield, but his health bar also doesn't move. So I don't really know to be honest. I can't tell, dude. I can't tell. I'm confused. I'm confused. <laughs> oh man. Is there really no Farag groups? Whoa, hold on a second. Farag? Hello? Heroic? Uh, 9 out of 9. Can't whisper him to show off my little achievement. A little achievement. Heroic? Is there any groups that are like not marked for Farag but aren't Farag? Just have them on Heroic? Maybe. Wait, there's one tinsel. Maybe? Do, do, do. Unless they want to do tinsel too, chat. They want to do tinsel also? 
Bolo cross. Are they clearing back? <laughs> back clearing after killing the guy? I guess so. I guess so. Let me get a different mix going. This makes his side, but it's slow. Can we do this one? Yeah, we'll do this one. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, man. I don't know. It's it just feels bad situation because we were so close too, and I just want to go to trinket, but also want to like I don't know, turn up the challenge into a, turn up the challenge a little bit. I think that's just something that maybe I just need to get over and just be like, you know what? Maybe this is why you just do 18s if you want to get gear. Maybe I should have done it on 18. Uh, maybe not a damage shield. You know how survival instincts for Hunter reduces damage taken by 90% when you feign death and displays a shield. Oh, maybe. I don't know, man. Maybe he had the, that, but I don't know. It looked like from his gear setup, he just had like, maybe that's just she death trinket, right? Because she death makes you take like 20% less damage, so maybe that's what that does. It gives you a shield, and then 20% of the damage that Amy does to you, it's gonna like go into that shield or whatever. Maybe. But it's just like it's wild when you get a shield and it does nothing. You know? Like, I, I wouldn't run that personally. It just seems like it's a little much. <laughs> or like it's not reliable. You know? Uh, maybe I can join this group. Give him that Mythic Farak CE combo. Maybe I'll be taken. Do, 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 do. Even though this guy doesn't really do that much damage on single target, but it does okay. Um, not right anymore. It was like, not worth it. I don't write anymore. Fair. Um, more confused how clean how the Chosen of Loon Diabolus were so good when they were just a Wild Stalker set in the corner. Yeah, Wild Stalkers, it's gotta, it's gotta get a little bit more work. That's all. It just needs like a hook, right? A fun gameplay hook. And like passive roots and passive like cleaves. I think it's gonna be nice for Resto, but like for Feral, I just don't find like anything exciting about that, you know? There's actually not a lot of frag groups at all, huh? Like, there's normal Farag groups, but they're not even on them, either. And there's this one, alts, but... Huh. Heroic. Or the footpack says about a vegan gum is an accident and never, never want to throw up more in my life. Oh, yeah, Ashy. Vegan gummies, man. That uh, doesn't sound appetizing at all. Hope you're doing okay, my guy. Hope you feel better. Hopefully you're not the kind of person that, like, when you get hit by, um, what is it? <laughs> when you eat something and you vomit, like, I'm not, I'm out, dude. I'm out as soon as I, as soon as I throw up. That's it. I'm just, I'm just, I'm in a corner. I'm not doing anything. Like, I'm basically, it's a sick day. Because my body just, like, it's too much for me. Like, historically, has always been like that. Maybe I'll try this group or something, right? No, 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 NCE on main. I don't really know. Maybe I'll add the on main. On main on god. <laughs> Same. Yeah, so I feel that, man. I feel that. Yeah, some people like can just hurl and they're chilling. They're they're fine. And they're just back to back to the regular, back to normal. I can't do that. Literally cannot do that. Oh, but I accidentally buys vegan food praying for you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh man, yeah, that was the worst. Ah, oh, vegan. <laughs> That's the worst part of it. Ah, <laughs> oh, disgusting. Where? Why? <laughs> oh wow, there's actually not a lot of frag groups at all. Huh. Maybe like later over the weekend. Oh, there's one. Uh, C E A O T C. Can't uh, link. Since you, Ali. 
can't link since you alliance, but we got it, dude. We got it. I can't link, but I, I would link, but you're alley. I can't do it. Uh, for axe eaters. Uh, oh. Uh, can do seeds. There we go. Let me send this guy a double up. I don't know if I sent it to him before. Oh, no. Apparently I did. Apparently I already did. But we'll see. Maybe it'll take me. Maybe it won't take me. Who knows, right? Who knows? Pretty much. People can just, can just stop running a roll, but no. <laughs> running a roll. <laughs> Did the cover it be good? Yeah. <laughs> this tastes like a bad life decision. <laughs> it's supposed to be healthy for ya. But it just tastes like cheeks. I feel like that would be a lot of the problems you could solve with like... Probably a lot of the vegan stuff. Not like I had a lot of vegan stuff myself, but... You know. Yeah, stop whispering me. I ignored it like four times already, lol. <laughs> Dude, this is a weird day, man. First you have the DK who just... I don't know, he had a shield but that did nothing for him. And then he was like, you guys gotta do spiders better. I guess, yeah, sorry, we can't like... Tip around them when they're just like skittering all over the place. And I have this guy giving me a lip. What is happening, man? What is happening? Wow. Like, you kill Farak to try to get in a group on Mythic just so you can get some heroic done on your ults, and you can't do that. What is the point of them, you know? Super fun. Uh... I guess I'll write this too. I don't know. Crazy and toxic day. I don't know what it is, man. I don't know what it is, man. Look this guy up. Actually, on node. On node on area 52. I mean, the guy is like 3 out of 9. I don't know, man. It's just it's weird. It's just like, I thought about it the other day. And you guys tell me if it's a toxic thought or not. But it's like, it's a thought that I had. I was like, eh, maybe I shouldn't think of it like that. But it's like, man, you go out there. You do some of the hardest bosses. You get CE or whatever, right? You get the best of the best gear on your main or whatever, right? And it's like, well, it feels like I know the fight pretty well. Now I just want to go play my ults and play in a heroic or whatever. And I got to be told by some dude who's never even seen like Tindril, Smolderon, Luridar, Council. Uh, literally just seen like the first two bosses on Volocross, some of the easiest ones. Told like, ha, no, you can't join this group. And it's like, what else could you do, man? <laughs> what else could you can I really do? <laughs> they need to have my ult as geared as my main and everything? Like what? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what else can you do? I feel like I've done everything I could. It's just like it's it's really difficult to get into groups. And it's like I feel like I'm pretty well qualified to do Farak heroic. Like that doesn't seem that difficult. But I've been told the guy who's never seen our mythic, like, no, you can't. You're not good enough. And it's like what? <laughs> okay, I guess. Cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? It just doesn't make sense. You know? It's like, it's this weird thought of like, man, I can't get into an easy fight because a guy that's never done a difficult fight is telling me I'm not good enough. And it's like, what? You know what I mean? And it's like, that's that's the limiter. I can't play my own because a guy, <laughs> some dude <laughs> who's never experienced really difficult content is telling, no, you're not good enough. It's like, what? But like, but, but, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, tell me if that's a toxic thought or not. Tell me if it was a toxic thought or not. I like had that thought. I was like, you know what? I'm a shelf it. I'm not going to think like that. But that's kind of how I thought about it. And initially, I was like, wow, that sucks. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's rough. 
I don't know, man. <laughs> Maybe try to join this guy? I don't really know. Dude, I can't get into frack at all. Uh, if you knew he would, he would accept your second thought, I don't think so. No idea, man. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. But like, what is it? There was a couple of weeks ago too, like I've been trying to get like, in my free time, I try to get into frag groups or whatever, normal, heroic, on like other alts or whatnot. Uh, and like, sometimes I'll be sitting there for like an entire hour and I'm just like signing up. Here's the achievements. I have a bit of gear on the characters and yeah, I know. Being kept up by heroic, uh, frag kill people. Some big eagles, y'all. That's kind of how it felt. And I was just like, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't think like that. Cause that's where you could like really get toxic thoughts out of it. You know? Oh no, yeah. I mean, this guy is still trying to put a group together. He's still trying to put a group together. Good luck, you know. And then at that point, like when you start thinking like that, then my first thought though goes, good. Hopefully you never get the kill ever this week or next week or any week after that. And from there, it's like, how, who, how does that help anybody? How's that going to put me in a better mood, right? It's like, it just isn't helping anybody. It's just a not, not a great mindset. You know what I mean? Uh, they want the best of the best of uh, the easiest runs to make, uh, so it makes sense. I guess so. I guess so. Yeah, but like, I don't know. Like, this guy has like 470 item level. Which I think is more than enough for a uh, Farak. Like, I've killed him on Heroic more than once now. For multiple weeks. And like... I don't know. Just rough. Just sucks, you know? Uh, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to pull this up. Maybe I can find normal run? Just to get that out of the way. There's a much slow, much lower chance than normal to get a Lego though. On Heroic, it's a lot better. But who knows, right? Yeah, it looks like, it looks kind of wild in that room. It's weird. It is what it is. I guess some. Like since it is first thought. Like I said, this week is rough. I don't know about this week. Like, if you mean, like, for Mythic Plus, yeah. But, like, raids are still the same. Those don't really change. You're Oracle qualified for the position. Yeah. Is ARMS viable and fun? I want to play that class uh, so I can get a Lego. Yeah, ARMS is pretty good. ARMS could do well. I don't think I'm that great at ARMS Warrior, but, like, it could do well. It could definitely do well. I don't think I played super well, though. Wait, when I say nine out of nine, should I add like mythic nine out of nine? Nine out of nine mythic. Nine out of nine mythic. Nine out of nine mythic. I thought that's what I think I'm probably not adding in. Yeah, I'm just adding nine out of nine. I'd probably think heroic. Maybe this guy. I don't know. All I could do is really send in like messages and see if I get any. Who knows, right? Um. Oh, <laughs> there it is. I'll do seeds if we need them to. Seeds in a melee are so much easier though. Oh, like a killer snow story. <laughs> All right, boys, finally got in. Unless you get just randomly yopped out of here, or just get randomly kicked. I kept saying the word yop, but it's like not even a word. I don't know why. Why? Why I started saying it? Or where did I pick it up from? But I started saying like yopped, like and that mean that in terms of like yeeted, kicked, booted out. Not a word. I had to look it up. I'm like, is that a word? Like when did I pick it up? Not a word. Not a word. So either I heard something that sounded kinda like oh. It sounds like kinda getting tossed out. <laughs> but nope. Not a word. Um you say the 23 was rough with last boss. I mean 23 at all, it's not that difficult. No, it's just a positioning. I mean, the warrior dying there early was a little rough, but like, what can you do, right? Spiders hurt. Spiders hurt. I don't even blame that guy at all. Like, we were fine. Warlock knots, you seen the ads with the fears was weird, but like, we we're doing okay. And it's like the position where the tank wanted us to go with the spiders was weird, but that's about it. But like, I don't know. It looked like we was going to kill. And I was like, all right, go again. But uh, tank wanted us, wanted, wanted us to 
do spiders in a weird spot like we tried but like it's a pug environment you're not gonna like <laughs> have accuracy dodging and weaving past the spiders you know what i mean all right i'm chilling i'm vibing we're now we're in uh do i need to change my build though for for rack that's a thing too i'm gonna look up actually do, 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 do. For arms warriors. Or am I chillin'? Looks like I'm mostly chillin'. Yeah, that's about right. I'll try to see if I can get a roar in like the ads whenever they come out. If possible. Uh, one of our BM hunters can't be a seeder anymore. Uh, something kept making him insta drop the seed when he picks it up, so I have to uh, now become one of the seed holders. It's probably a weak aura or an add on or a macro where they probably are using or, um, yeah, using their reaction button instantly. So it's probably on our end, most likely. Yeah, the only way you'd be able to tell is like if you on if you just disable add-ons, pick up a seed, and see if like you're dropping it or not, or just use inter uh, extra action button with like anything you can normally interact with. Like I guess you would need to go to like a dungeon or like do an activity that has an extra action button for you to press and see if it's bugging out there, and then you would need to figure out which weak aura or add-on or macro is messing with them. But yeah, yogurt drink? I have no idea. Maybe who knows, right? You can get in a group with someone uh, in Neverwinter literally all day and not do it, let alone actually finish the dungeon. Neverwinter, man. That's a game that I actually watched a video on recently. That's pretty wild. We got a talent center everyone screenshot quick. No, <laughs> me? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I don't even know if these are the right ones, but this is what people are running on Mythic for Rack. I'm pretty sure they're just running it for the bleed AoE, though. Normally, you would want to pick up maybe like a Shockwave, but I think for arms, it's a little bit harder than Fury. So you can at least go Champion Spear, grab that and play off of that. Last so into roar and pick this up here and just grab one shockwave. They're gonna make shockwave easier to pick up, by the way. That's gonna be awesome. Oh, that is a drink. That's so weird. Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah, I had no clue. That's neat. I had no idea. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's easy to get a PvP too because most of the raids and dungeons are RNG. It is RNG, that's for sure, but like you could at least like you know, you you have like specific focus and you can grind it out. With PvP, you do have like a set amount of conquests you can earn a week. So it's just like a matter of time until you eventually get it. With dungeons, you can just kind of grind and grind and grind until you do it. He just booted a guy here? Moxie? Okay, there was a hunter and it was AFK, I guess, apparently or something. I have no idea. <laughs> but they just eated that guy. Poor man's just gone. <laughs> Please summon in. This guy? Dude, everybody's Fury. I'm gonna be like the only arms warrior. I'm gonna do like no damage. I'm not great at a Fury at all. Arms, I can kind of sort of play. Fury, I don't know, man. <clears throat> oh. I'm gonna use rally. I'll probably use one rally when we're moving. I think it'd be worth. Just rally here, just because we're gonna need it. Plus, we have a bunch of warriors anyway, so might as well. Me again? Come on. Who died? A hunter, or a, not hunter, priest. Right, 
Probably not a good time to have a go on him. Yeah, not a greatest time. Not the greatest, but it's okay. I got parry for this, so we're chilling. Oh the heck, so many melee. I know, I know, I know. It's a lot. <laughs> but like you you Hey, this is a, if the game giveth melee, you taketh melee. It's a lot of warriors and paladins are definitely the one that are legendary, man. What can you do, right? Big heal. How's my damage doing? Not amazing. Yeah, I gotta figure out why my damage is so ass in this thing. It's just cheeks. I think it's my rage spending is all kinds of auto whack. Honestly, might come down just to that alone. Because I have way too much rage nowadays. Like, not enough to spend it on. Ever since they changed the whole uh, second win thing. Or not second win, ignore pain. I probably call a smash on him wasn't that great either. This is gonna be gone. I just can't even hit anything. Except these two. But I don't have my Colossus Smash anymore. One once, one once in a while there. Too far away. Stay away from lines. I think this would have been a better time to list actually, or after he comes down. Second time. P two. That probably would have been a little bit better. I hate the downtime and there's nothing to press is up. Arms warrior times. I know I actually probably know why. There's supposed to be a button here. Yeah. That's probably why it feels weird. Oh god. <laughs> Everybody's shuffling. Is he an execute range yet? He's so close. He's there. Now we can have some fun. Now we just spam one button. Mostly execute and mortal strike. So I guess two. I think I'm gonna hold my cooldowns up until he comes back down. She's gonna go up here in a bit. Yeah. Do, 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 do. And I think I'll roll a rally cry early here. Guy, you're gonna kill me. I'll try to see if I can drop my seed first, if possible. Or I guess I'll hold mine. Two people drop theirs. I want to be the guy to drop mine just so I can get rid of it and be done with it. Stay 
Oh, come on. One guy did get a Lego. One guy did get a leg out of that one. Oh, man, dude. Ah, I thought maybe this was it. I thought maybe this is it, boys. No, I can roll for one. Roll for that. 93, maybe I would get one. Maybe get a Korea. One guy did get a Lego, man. Come on. How many kills of this boss do you even have on this guy at this point on Heroic? I feel like I've been killing this bot guy for like ever, man. Crazy. Damn, every time I see Iridol, it is in the mythic track. I just chuckle myself with the three. Dude, I mean, yeah. No, yeah. Heroic hero track is where it's at, though, for now. Man, I want the DK, but it get a little hurts to get it, but it still hurts. I do want the DK to get it, too, honestly. DK and Paladin. Because those two are like super behind on gear, and like that would actually help him a bunch. Let me see if I get any one of the. Um, nah. Nah, I lost the roll. Oh, that's a forge. Guy got a 99. Damn. Huge. All right. But the average was ass, though, dude. What is that? What is that? 139? That should be way higher than that. I think maybe. That might have changed the way Paladin, or Warrior rather, not Paladin, Arms Warrior like plays. Like maybe like the logic behind the abilities and the rotation. Because Rogue recently did change their like thought process behind like our abilities. And if you use the new logic behind like the rotation and like pistol shots and procs and all that stuff, you do a lot more damage. Like it's actually noticeable. And then resources and cooldowns feel much better. But that means you do have to make like an actual like noticeable change. God, that's my favorite part. Look at that. The fly down from above. Should we go again? Do the uh, Death Knight do it on normal? Because I don't think I'm going to ever be able to do heroic on DK. Because we could do normal, boys. What do you guys think? I think we should do it. Normal will be much easier to get into if there is a group. If there is a group. But maybe, right? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Heroic will be a little tough. Normal, I think, will be much, much easier. If there is a normal group. Maybe there isn't. AOTC waitlist. And Direwolf is part of it. Nice. Hope you get it. Um, Normal emerges so. still. Let me try to see if I can bust out my achievements. <laughs> uh, Let's see. Tindal Farak. 9 out of 9. Mythic. 9 out of 9. 9 out of 9. Mythic CE can do seeds. That's another class that's pretty good for like uh ahead of the curve. In my CE too. Hold on, Mythic Blazing and Raid. There we go. Uh, declined instantly. Okay, cool. Neat. I was just looking, trying to find my achievements and uh. Yeah, I didn't work. <laughs> so, that one's well. Is there any other group that's doing Farak? No, I think that might be the only one. Yeah. Paladachi or whatever his name is. Dude, it's Pal- Why is it Paladins? <laughs> Why is it always Paladins that decline me and give me a lip, man? What is that? What is it having to be with a pink class that gets like <laughs> the worst of personalities out there? You know what I mean? Try to see if we can join this man. Do 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 do. I want to use a premade group add-on that'll make life easier. A premade group add-on? I just haven't thought of one. Does it actually make it easier? Oh, that's another group decline. Uh oh. I am looking for normal, right? Wow, they're picking even on normal. Wild. Crazy. Um, Paladin's used to crying about red not being good enough, but then reds get really good and point the in other directions. Maybe. But then again, like... What is he doing? Is he dual sudden? Oh, okay, he's helping with the Lego. Heard like a bunch of sounds happening from my left ear. I'm like, the hell is that? Wait, this is normal run? There's like three bosses then, right? Smoldy, all that. 
I'm gonna sign up. I have a couple of bosses, but maybe. One run on small run? Hold on. Because he's gonna do in small D and then Tindril and then whatever. Maybe that'll be easier. Our DPS are 478, sub rogue in my full feature, right? Not plus 15. I mean, sub rogues could. Wait. Hold on a second. Now I'm wondering what the hell was that guy doing then? That guy was cooked. If that's true, that guy was cooked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a lot of normal Farag groups. At least not like fresh ones or ones that are basically on the boss. Uh, Earths are broken, always been, especially now in Legion. I don't know. I think reds are either good or they're like mediocre and they're just not. It's like hot or cold, right? Like, because there's moments when the rogue is like decent, but it's not amazing. But it's like, it, it does get, every class I think gets to a point where they're like they're like played or not really played. But some of them can be like really decent and actually not terrible, even though they don't get the, as much play as some of the others. And I think that's one thing is like people either look at their classes too like oh we're either like great and everybody wants us or we're trash can when they're like they're average but they're just not like top tier but for some people it's like that Ricky Bobby mentality really does bleed out like you if you ain't first you're last kind of deal right it is like <laughs> that is one mindset that exists out there not one I subscribe to but it does exist <laughs> you know I think it's uh I think there's like, I think there's a shades to it all. I get declined over and over, man. What the hell is happening? Oh, man. Can't get Farag done on this guy. It, this is normal, too. This is what you think what people would be like a little more chill and laid back. But no. Survival Hunter is that? Yeah, Survival Hunter has been that like in the past. Like, it, 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 just in a lot of people's minds, they're just like, I guess like, you know, deal in absolutes. Either you're absolutely fantastic, the best thing out there, or you're absolute trash and, you know, only said deal in absolutes. But, like, yeah, Survival Hunter was one of those specs for a good bit where it's just like, it's like not amazing just because it's a melee hunter. But, like, if you put it in the right condition, like, it could pop. It could do some numbies. It could do really, really well. Have I whispered this guy before? Demio? Yeah. I mean, I'll try to sign up again. I'll see if I can do it. Who knows, right? Um, most of my freshers did 50 to 60k. My first shadow plays did a 60 to 80k. Um, Main for S team. Tell me that isn't broken. Wait, my press Shadow Priest did 60 to 80k DPS. Maintain for ST. Tell me that isn't broken. That's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. Then again, like, shot. I don't know. Uh, I guess I'm going to need to look at your gear. Because I don't know if you're wearing just like a bunch of greens or whatever, and that's your damage. But like, Priest did get buffed up a little bit here and there, didn't they? I guess then the question would be like, wait, maybe you like picked up a lot of gear or are you like absolutely green garbage gear? And that point is like, wait, that's actually good numbers. Time warp stuff. It was mostly time warp stuff. Oh, is that like the, uh, from the timey wimey Taldrazas time event vendor guy? Okay. How good is that gear? I don't remember, but that's pretty good, I guess. That's a good start. Do, do, do. Yeah, wow, there's just not a lot of groups, man. Unless you just join like a fresh one. Normal for rack. Maybe I tank it. Right? Maybe. Oh, these guys, maybe I could join them, right? Because this one's going to be a couple of bosses, but who knows, right? 
Better nothing. I don't have level 70 stuff equipped. Oh, you don't have level 70. Oh, okay. 4 to 4 10. That's actually a solid item level. I don't think that it was even the item level of like most characters when you were leveling initially. So you mean like time walking? If that's what you mean? Yeah, okay, if that's what you mean time walking. That's actually a solid gear, like for a fresh character. I think usually we're like way under because 411 was the item level of like I'm pretty sure 411 or 433, one of those two, was the item level of like end game Vault of the Incarnates gear, right? So then it's like doing 70 to 80k with the that item level. Yeah, it's pretty reasonable. Yeah, it's like season one gear. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to remember it, and it's like it's been a second, but I'm pretty sure that's like season one. Close to like heroic mythic, somewhere in between there. Maybe maybe around there. Like a little behind, but around there. But you got what I mean though, right? You got what I mean. Looking for a tank. On Nimium. I'll whisper this good too. See if I get maybe an invite. Do, 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 do. Season 1 endgame stuff, yeah? yeah? Yeah, Hold on, actually, we could look it up exactly. Because the item levels haven't changed out or anything. It's not Vault, or it's not Faded yet. I like Mythic. 421 item level. Yeah, so 421 at the low end, or 424. Oh yeah, 424 is the Mythic, yeah. For some reason, I thought 433. Wait, well, I guess it was 430, so that maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Or maybe the bow was 433? 430, yeah, so that was like 4... In the fourth third, yeah, that is the end game gear. So I guess it's like when you put it with that kind of perspective in mind, yeah, yeah. I think it's kind of like, I think normal. <laughs> that sounds about right. That sounds about okay. Normal fresh. We should like find like a a skip group or something. There'll be quite a lot of bosses to get to like five of them, but like maybe. I'm walking them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was gone for like five minutes. I missed it. It was I think last week, but it's gone now. It's a uh, brawl. The circle of gravity lapse and the ruined skimmers buff. Next week it's going to be another brawl with like a world quest, but it's also going to be a. A uh, Darkman Fair, and then it's gonna be a bit until like twelfth, where it's gonna be Hearthstone anniversary event, tenth tenth year anniversary, and then they're also gonna do like a Tom Walking. What is it? Legion Wad, Wad. Speaking of Tom Walking, I was really hoping they would add a Tom Walking raid for Miss Pandaria. That would've been awesome. Like shadow drop it out of nowhere, randomly. Wait, did I whisper this guy before? Demio, I did. He just doesn't want me. Okay. <laughs> cool. Nice. Nice. Yeah, so chat, if anything, you know what? Let's make this a positive experience in the chat. You know what? Next time you're queuing up for a random pug or random raid or random whatever, just remember, your boy Dal went and killed Mythic for Rack, right? Bought 500 or so pulls on Tindril, 500 pulls on Farak, struggled all the out, uh, struggled my ass off to kill him. Right? And Dal can't get into normals and heroics. If you have a hard time, just remember, your boy Dal <laughs> could have a geared character, a decently okay-ish geared alt. At least for, like, heroics. <laughs> Kill Mythic Farak. It doesn't matter. He ain't getting invites. <laughs> so if you're having a hard time, just remember, your boy Dal also was having a hard time. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. One shard guild run. Maybe I just did this one, man. Just grab and run with us, maybe? Just join a group? And just like, slam through some of the bosses, get a bit of gear? Raid? <laughs> I don't know how long it will take. But I'll sign up. Because at least it's not like, all the bosses gotta be, like, you know, fresh. It's not at least a fre fully fresh group or whatever. Yeah, you don't need anything, but you're not from US, so experience a bad constant ping. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, do anything to play US server? No, just make a US account, that's it. But yeah, you are gonna have a mess, though. 
because some people can't see mains prog that's why i have the same issue they can't see my mains prog i mean all my characters i'm pretty sure are bound together on radar yo like passively on their own but like i have achievements that i'm linking right and like it should say like achievement earned on a um, main or whatever uh, it's not your Dallas DK. It's really hard to join groups that a DK have some issue. Oh yeah, Death Days definitely do have a hard time. I mean, Warriors, Paladins do. Probably at least can, you know, I could at least come in as a healer. But yeah, they probably have like a billion Death Knight in a the group. They're like, you know what? We don't really need more Death Knights. We're good. Thanks. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're probably good. Thanks. We don't really need that many Death Knights. Let's just say we already have like 20. We You don't need 21 Death Knights. No, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I think they definitely did screw over a lot of the strength classes with like, oh, hey, strength Lego. So a lot of those strength classes are queuing up for groups and it's like, ah, uh, no. You know what I mean? <laughs> Clear, make me laugh in the notes. <laughs> you just hit him up with like your item level, lol. Uh, because Unholy uh, can just lag out the entire raid if you have more than two. Oh, two or some degree. Oh, some fights, not all the time. I mean, if you mean like the amount of zombies, like if you have like, yeah, if you're playing on a toaster from 1995, I can imagine, but like, it, they definitely could back in like Castle Nathria, right? So it's a one mechanical Castle Nathria where the boss will do this like frontal cleave and everybody that he hits will have a ghost. He will have like their own spirit pop out with, like, and they'll start wailing doing AOE damage. What a death that would do is like pop a uh, swarm to dot them all and they'll start spamming epidemic and they're all just a bunch of them stacked together. And that actually would like hitch everyone's PCs. Every single time you spam epidemic, because there's multiple instances of damage going through, and the game is like, I, we, I can't handle this. Hold on a second. <laughs> Everybody just start lagging, either getting FPS drops or like actual in-game lag where the character can't move anywhere at all. Yeah, it's 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 awesome. It was great, but it was like that one uh, mechanic specifically. It's happening pretty often there. Uh, I don't know. Should I reset up again to all those frag groups, or should I just like cut my losses there? Like, maybe I'll just reset up. I don't know. I'll just sit again. I'll see what happens. I'll just reset up again. I don't know. This guy did Nimu, Council, Larida. Wait, the actual will be a small drone, huh? Hold on, maybe a whisper? Or maybe I whispered him already. I don't know. What boss is this for? Normal have sums. Oh, beautiful. Uh, I should probably get the potion or two, huh? So at least I like I look like I'm like <laughs> I'm gonna try in here. Uh, consumables and a couple of these. I got gold in this guy. Why do I have so much gold? I have 37 gold or 37,000 gold. Both had a pet army. Yeah. Oh, this one is the council group. Okay. I mean, I'll run this. So we didn't get a complete, like, fresh new experience, but we got, like, at least something, boys. At least we got this. So we got what this guy, we got Nimu, and then Smoldy, Tendril. So we're just, yeah, got comfy, man. We're going to be in for a couple of bosses here. I also replace this. I need the different mailbox on Aaron Ahuna Perch. Yeah, that's much better than Kitty Stamp Whistle. I like the bird. Uh, try to get this uh, tank trinket on this guy. You mean this thing? Already got it. I would want it. Why would I need that? Yeah, I, I'd much rather... I don't even need anything from this guy. I got both. I got pips and I got this thing. I got both. We're chilling. We're vibing. I think I'm just going to dumpster my cooldowns into Erwin. I don't really know. Normally, just like you either go like the, um, the range usually just like smacks this guy really, really hard. Melee just cleaves these two. But like, I don't cleave with the DK. No, he hasn't, dude. You already got him all, man. I've been, I've been playing this character, dude. I'm doing raids. I'm doing my dungeons. I'm actually playing the character. We got gear, man. Come on. Like, yeah. it's like this is why i'm like dude i actually like, i try my all it's like they're not like as geared as my main but like i try with them i get stuff <laughs> but i'm just like wearing a bunch of blues 
right? Or greens or whatever. <laughs> like, I actually take it to, like, time walkings or whatever. Try to get as much gear as I can when possible. Let's see on all the PvP on Holy so strong right now. Yeah, on Holy is really, really good. It is definitely really strong. Yeah, I recently kind of PvP'd on my uh, Shaman. I kind of want to do Voker a bit. I think that'd be really fun, too. I just barely see them, but I want to see how hard they hit because I know they can do pretty quite a bit of damage. Dude, just join the group and they're about to pull. Okay, that man just got absolutely just like <laughs> absolutely denied being able to play with everybody else. Got a little bit of cleave, but like, I'm not gonna be able to do much. Cleave with death calls, but mostly single targeting. God, that charge comes out so late. Normal. Wait, do I share health on normal or is that only an LFR thing? I don't remember. Uh, should I switch over to Pip? I feel like Pip's health is really, really low now. I actually gotta hit Pip. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Uh, bup. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna focus Pip. I feel like nobody hits him ever. And Pip just has like the most health of everybody. I also think of the same thing actually. Should be in line, right? I feel like urban cell is gonna be a little high. Also, I hate how much Pip moves. It's a lot of movement. Oh yeah, she has a lot less health now. I'm gonna switch over to her. See my pets maybe be able to switch over as well. Now her has the most amount of health. Now Pip has no most health. We just all switched it at the same time, man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay. I'll take it. All right, Nimiu. What does Nimiu even give? Uh, Nimiu, eh? Naimu. Naimu? Nimiu? I call it Nimiu, dude. Naimu, Nimiu, Namu. Not gonna do that boss anymore. That's what the name should be. I'm not gonna do ya. Uh, I bummed the mic. I just punched the mic for some reason. I don't know why, dude. Maybe it's like the, the words of the paladin <laughs> to hold me early. It just got me angry. Or maybe it's that blood DK. Who knows, right? For the seven, the most health is weird. I mean, it makes sense. He's a bear. But like... In that clip, yeah. Oh, no, nobody, like, everybody is smart. Like, when you do the fight and you're clever, you don't hit the work toss. You just hit the other team. You cleave work toss, like, everybody knows. No one should really be touching him directly. Like, you should be cleaving down to, like, whether you're hitting the uh, pip or whether you're hitting air, and he just takes cleave from both of them, right? At least that's how it normally uh, would work. Maybe it's that bad. Ah, not amazing. Not amazing. Do -do 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 -do. How many pugs are in pumps or toss? I don't know. I haven't seen a. I haven't seen pugs that just pump or toss. Maybe like LFR, not normal or heroic. Maybe it's an EU thing, but I haven't seen it on here. I feel like I should just go blood DK, make it a little bit easier. Walk in, blast this guy, because we're waiting on these guys anyway. He's almost here. Are they gonna reset? I feel like I don't wanna pop big cooldowns, but I am gonna get the army going at the very least.
Did my pet interrupt them? <laughs> Hold on, did my pet just charge interrupt them? Uh oh. I feel like that wouldn't be good sometimes. Probably should turn it off. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Odds ever fight will go left. Okay, am I odd? I'm even. So I'm gonna go to the right. Uh, as long as we lost, I think this guy should melt, honestly. Real, really quickly. Are these things still going for a lot in the auction house, by the way? Shadowflame Essences? Because I sold a bunch of those and I made a bunch of gold. Actually, I think that's why I have like 36,000 gold. I forgot about it completely. I think I had a couple and I sold them for big. If they still go for a lot, that would be huge. I'm trying to see if I can snag some trinkets from this place here and there. I feel like I'm barely gonna see the lines. So many bodies here. Oh, look at my damage, boys! Look at me go! Oh my god! I bought my cooldowns, my army. They hit him so hard. Wild. Uh, is he gonna move? I was gonna save for a second. I don't wanna move. I don't wanna move there, fella. I don't wanna move there, big guy. Another big go. I have nothing for the ad. I'm just sending it, dude. I'm just sending everything. I'm just sending the boss to heaven. That's what we were doing. I don't even know if I want to send cooldowns into this guy. I feel like I just want to send him to the boss. He's just like 28% health. I think that's what I'll do. I'll just go bank everything. I'm just not going to commit at all. That's my auto attack buff. I suck. I don't even know if I want to send, like, <laughs> creepy hand, honestly. I don't even know if that's what you just want to do there. Maybe I save it for Bex Go. Just not sure how DK cooldowns work at the moment. I just know that I have the big opener, and then from there I kind of just loosely send stuff when it's up. That's all. Uh, probably Mastery is better. Wonka died? Oh no. <laughs> how did he die? Just growth or did it fall off? It looked like he just died to something. I think it might have just fallen off, honestly. Uh what was that class? Look at the uh played PvP gear. The cheapest for Verdant Combat and Obsidian, and they're like five uh ten thousand per piece. What are you talking about? Like the um like the crafted gear, I mean like the ones in the auction house? Yeah, those can run you up a little bit. Just a little. Just a little bit, you know? <laughs> Eleven shadow flame essence is like ten thousand gold. Eleven, okay, yeah, that's still solid. Oh, oh, that's less than though, isn't it? 
That's a little less than. 11 Shadowfly Missions is 10,000 gold. Yeah. I mean, like, 1,000 per. Like, they did spike up for quite a bit because, like, everybody started getting the Legos and people decided, you know what, let's make some money off of it. Let's make some money. Everybody's going to want to be buying those things to get Legos. But I guess now that everybody started, like, flooding the market, it's probably like, eh, not as, not as good. Not as good. One. Oh, one for 10,000? Oh, huge. Oh, hell yeah. Never mind then. Yeah, this is massive. Forget about it. I was, I mean, I expected for them to eventually get flooded and maybe prices would stabilize, but never mind. Scratch that. I'm making bank. 10,000 gold right there. <laughs> We saw that, my guy. Whoever was that? We saw that. Sorry. <laughs> I saw. I was looking. <laughs> this guy, full troll. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, guy. It looks like silly guy. Um, What is the name of the class uh, that changed to Illidan? Was he a warlock? What is the name of the class that cha changed to Illidan? Well, what do you mean? What was the name of the class that changed to Illidan? Like, what was what was uh, Illidan before he became a demon hunter? Like in the game lore, I think his technically was a mage because he was with Ravenhold. And there's a quest line where you get to play Illidan, and he's like a master of the arcane arts. Like he blasts things left and right. Metamorph seems to be a warlock ability. Is that Shockbot? Yeah, it depends what you mean though, my lad. How you doing, by the way? Hope you having a good one. Change to Illidan. Change to Illidan. If you mean like lore wise, what it was Illidan before he became a demon hunter in the boss fight? Oh. Huh? I'm so confused. Illidan was a mage in DH. Yeah, what do you mean by that? In the boss fight. Change to Illidan in the boss fight. What do you mean by that? Yeah, I have no idea. You have to explain. Do, 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 do. Should I just send the army and everything during like the first phase? I guess I should, right? Just like send everything and not open her. Just hold. And I'll just like see if I can dumpster the boss in the opener or in the uh, intermission. Or can I like send army immediately? I might be able to send army in the opener, actually. I think that's what I'll try to do. I'll send in a... Uh, go in with a dot... Festering Strikes, I'll go Apocalypse, Transformation, and then I won't use them again until, like, the intermission, and I'll send, like, Gargoyle, Grippy Hand, um, Army, all that in the intermission. I think I'll try that. I'll play in Holy Death Knight, I always do it in the opening. Just send everything at the start. I guess, yeah, like, if you're trying to maximize the amount of cooldowns inside of a Mythic fight, but it's, like, normal, so I, don't, I wonder if I could just, like, if we could just cheese out the boss and just nuke him in the intermission and just like not even see a second intermission. But probably yeah. I don't know. I think I'll I think I'll bank it. I'll try to see if it can just like spike up. Cause it's kinda fun. Just cause it's fun. Just because it's a normal. Just for the Lego. And after this guy should be Tindril, and Tindril's pretty easy. And then it's uh Farak. Well, that'll be fun too. Army Gargoyle, Fast Ring, Two Ice, a Pock, Transform, Frenzy, and Power will Bam Weapon. Wouldn't you want to go Frenzy immediately? Or am I wrong about that? Army Gargoyle, Fast Ring twice, a Pock, Transform, Frenzy, and Power Weapon, a Bomb. Is that is that the opener? Is that the actual one to do it? I usually just like try to see if I can sync up a Pock and uh, Unholy Assault together. So Unholy into a Pock, but maybe it's better. I don't know. But somewhere that is going, doing it after you summon everything gives them all the haste. There, uh, so this doesn't give you haste, it used to. So this gives you all damage done by 20%. It just increases all damage done by 20%. It used to give a 20% haste buff, but not anymore. So maybe that's why. I have no idea. I'm just gonna go in with a light opener here. And I'm just gonna set the army during intermission. Like this guy's going full summoner. Full pets. I'm just gonna half pets. Wait, we wanna pull the tank back a little or boss a little? Special coming. Oh god, okay, I guess we're doing this. That was weird. Oh, I was thinking it was gonna be tornadoes. 
I like position for those. Like, nothing leaves puddles in this fight except this, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, it's a lot more puddles. I forget exactly what leaves puddles in Mythic and Heroic, but Mythic definitely, like, just about everything leaves puddles. It's like position, 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 position is huge. Yeah, I got an army and everything back. So we should have like everything, everything in the opener. You wanna get an army. See if we can just go in, summon all of it, and go grab my orbs and stuff. As fast as I can. And hopefully we'll get us just like a big go. Maybe it'll be worth it, maybe not. I'm not seeing my bar at all there. Hopefully we'll see me in a second. With my entire army and the full damage buff rolling in. Hopefully, maybe. Or no? Army? Where's my bar? Oh, there I am. Look at me. Sneak it up a little bit. Sneak it up towards the tail end. Oh, that was definitely not worth it. Yeah, definitely not worth it. Zane, who popped cooldowns in the opener, it didn't even matter. <laughs> it didn't really even matter. <laughs> Just more cooldowns, more value, more armies, more everything. Was be it was the better choice. I thought maybe I'd be able to like have a full go, man. You know what I mean? I thought it just made sense in my brain, made sense in my mind. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> we try, we fail, we go again. What was gamble with the info? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Why had Ypedia? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know I have different sources. Um, like I made it all up. <laughs> That's my favorite source. Uh, dome again? Yeah, look at that. Ouchies. Ouchies, boys. Ouchies. Oh! Actually, this is really good, isn't it? Hell yeah. Boots? Hell yeah. That's an upgrade. Ah, 44. <laughs> if I get it for 17, that'd be funny. Yeah, there's enough shot. Okay, dude. All right, dude. Okay, dude. All right, dude. Axe runs? Yeah. I already did one on the warrior. Dude, it took so long to find a heroic. It was toxic, man. The groups out there that are just toxic. One dude even whispered me like, yeah, I'm trying to ignore you or something along those lines. It's wild. It's wild, man. Killing Mythic for Rack, no respect, doesn't matter. <laughs> like, well, how many hoops do people have to, it just really makes me wonder, like, dude, how many more hoops do you have to jump through? Killing bosses on the hard, hardest bosses on the hardest difficulty isn't enough to get in a heroic group. Like, heroic versus compared to Mythic is easy. And not enough, man, not enough. Do you get it? No, uh, one person got it, but like, nobody else. One person did, uh, I was hoping I get it, but this time I'm trying to see if we can do it on this guy. Pally did one yesterday, I think, so this guy's like the last character I could try for. Geeks has been in for the end of the yesterday stream, help me. Did 946k to some more in solo shuffle. Yo, yeah, if you could set it up that PvE style of rotation in a PvP environment, bro, you could just melt people. It is actually insane. You could just destroy people with that last tick of Kingsbane if you just keep sinking into them. Oh, it is massive. But like just having to have everything lined up together and making sure he doesn't like run away or whatever. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty big. Especially like they can't really stop like if they can't immune it, they can't really stop the damage. Like unless they can stop you from hitting them, they can't really stop that ramp. And like if they are not if they're just like looking at the initial hit, that's not that scary. I mean it can be. But then the tail end hit, oh yeah, melts people. Cold Blood King's Bane. Yeah, that's what a lot of people I've seen been doing, at least in the duels recently. Is a lot of the uh, homies like the game, for example, in the EU or like hockey's on an A. They've been using Cold Blood Kingsbane. That's a strong combo because you could set up like a really solid go. Kingsbane also is treated as a poison with all the other talents that buff poison. So like if they're low in health, that could be an execute. You could do a lot of damage. But yeah, if you have full death mark, full everything rolling, and you get those double shivs, shiv in the opener for the big hit, and then shift towards the tail end so it really ramps up. Oh, it melts people. 
Yeah, final take is double the cold blood hit. Yeah, and if that crits, it can be better. It can just be really, really strong, especially if you can stay on them for like a re the entire duration. It ramps up and like really, really skyrockets. It is nice. It is very, very nice. And you drop to lead the character? No, 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 dude. We'll play in this character forever and ever and ever. You know what I mean? If this character gets a Lego, this is gonna be my, like, pseudo main for, like, a little bit. I'm gonna play Frost the entire time, though. I'm not gonna play Unholy. I like Frost too much. A lot of people got the axe, and they make a heroic for the axe. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. If they've done their, like, 14 kills of Frack and Heroic, then at that point they should have like a guaranteed chance to get the Lego, right? It just skyrockets off at some point. For me, I'm gonna delete the mage. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. That's what you mean. Okay, here we go. Get Lego, Lego vibes, Lego vibes. I feel it, man. I feel it. This is the time when we get the Lego, and then we just gotta take a break and then just can grind this guy out tomorrow or something, or whatever other free time that I have. Is that the? I'm trying to. I mean, look, seeing this guy's like weapons. Is that the uh, Naya Lotha or like patch, whatever final patch of BFA enchant, Wood Edge? That's what it is. It's like has a, gives him like a purple kind of like from an angle. Whenever he's not like all green like this. From a distance, it looks like he got like purple flames on his weapons, but with a little bit of yellow. It's kind of neat. That was like tail end of his uh, the little purple. But it's really just blue and like kind of yellow gets put together. It's kind of neat. Don't they just have also purple as well? Void transmog? Yeah, yeah. I was trying to figure out like what is that for a second. I'm so I'm not used to artifact weapons having like enchants though. Like for the longest time you couldn't put enchants on artifact weapons, even when you transmog them, just because they always came with like an extra effect. Um, Blizzard was like, oh, it kind of clashes with like, you can bug out and like do some weird things. But I think they decided like, oh, I think they maybe found a workaround to make like. The natural enchant will weapon like be treated as like an enchant and you just switch it or something. Who knows? A lot of times they can't do the things they want to do because of spaghetti code. In most cases. Except for like housing. They said like that would, if they wanted to do it correctly, that would just basically be like so much work you would just have to sacrifice like a tier or raid or something. Uh, is it just keeping him in? Well, move cotton, but that'll work. <laughs> that'll work. I'm actually kind of sort of keeping up with Zane. Not necessarily doing the same damage he's doing, but like. I'm in the ballpark. I'm I'm just hovering there. You know what I mean? We're just hovering. Watch there were no big goods, but King's Bane top damage. Yeah, yeah, King's Bane can do it quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can set it up properly. King's Bane could do some absolutely like disgustingly good numbers. I still have another clip of Hawkins just doing like work on that thing. This is why I'm like I like watching Assassination Rogues and Duels more than sub. Like sub is strong. <laughs> no doubt about it, but man, is it fun watching Assass just really pop off. Also, oh, do we face this guy early, or was it just like... I had to face him early there. Hey, hey, 
Oh yeah, this guy's gonna face so hard. He's not supposed to transform the bird that quickly. <laughs> I just sent my army to, which is kind of a waste because I'm not gonna get a value out of him. They're just standing there. <laughs> Can't even touch the guy. <laughs> oh, that was awful. I was watching this hell bar or anything. Yeah, I got no army, no nothing. Would have been fantastic if maybe that allowed you to freeze your army in place for a little bit. While you're transferring yourself from, what is it, one platform to the next. That would have been dream. Weird time for me to actually roll out the army, though. Not gonna lie, but at least they're here. Uh, uh what what item is this for? Helm. Oh, that guy rolled a hundred, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna hit need just to see if I can roll a hundred. <laughs> There's just no shot though. <laughs> 25, yeah, not happening. The belt is an upgrade though. Socket. That's big. 96? Yo, give me that. Give me that. Give me that socket. I'll take it. Okay, hold on. How many how many of these guys are gonna fall off the edge? How many oh, got it. Hell yeah. How many of these guys are gonna fall off the edge, chat? Hold on. Ah. Uh? Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, nobody. Ah, oh, we got one. We got one. <laughs> we got one. <laughs> I was gonna say. So they. So ever since they changed it so that you could act, take like your dragon riding mounts everywhere, now you can mount up in this arena, like in this boss room. Normally you can mount up after the boss is dead for a while until he gives you the uh, dragon riding buff, and then you can mount. But a lot of people are usually pre-mounted to get the buff and they think, oh, I can fly immediately. Nope. You gotta dismount, remount, and then you can fly. <laughs> Every time, dude. Every time I look out for it. It's, it's just like <laughs> morbid curiosity. Wailing Cameron's drop? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> it just goes and just dies. Lagger, dude. No Lego? Come on, Jake. Jake sent us with a Lego, dude. No Lego. I cry. Oh, no, dude. Jake's cursed. Cursed the run, man. It's over. It's done. Wrap it up. Pack it out, boys. No Lego this time around. Man, you know what? I'm if I if I get the Lego, I'll be happy, but I'm not gonna be excited about having to do so many super blooms. Cause I'll be having to do super bloom every hour on the hour until you get whatever the hell currency you get for the super bloom. I don't even like not a hundred percent familiar with the Lego achievement like acquisition process either, but like not ex I am excited to get it, not excited to grind for it, but I think it's gonna be fun. No, I didn't get a Lego. Oh, unforge. Unfortunate. Do -do 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 -do. Chat. Question. If um, if for some reason they release Cataclysm Beta tomorrow, do we stream it? Do we care about Cata Beta? Whatever they do with Cata Beta. Do we stream it? Like if we if they release it and I get in, do we stream it or do we call it? Do we ignore it? Thoughts? Cause I definitely want to check it out, but I just don't know if I, if you guys care or not. Thirteen kills. Kata was kind of irrelevant. It was fun dumb. Yeah, but like, I just try to get a feel of how you guys feel about Kata Beta. 
Because I like to run around like a max level boom kid and just whatever. Hopefully I get a beta kid too. I would say yeah. Yeah, that'd be kind of fun. Like do some dungeons and like play classes how they used to be. Like if they, especially if they let you play like old school classes with like the old school design or whatever. A max level. Because I want to go back to drop down mushrooms and like explode them as a star surger guy. Like that was some fun back, back in the day for Boomkin. I say check it out. Okay. I will stream it then. Because I was going to check it out my free time. I just wasn't sure if I was going to stream it or not. But I guess we'll stream it. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, my guy? I was gonna say. Try to kill us all. Run! I want a dome. First, uh, AoE. That's normal, right? So it shouldn't hurt that much. I don't think I will. Like it is 100% drop rate within 11 kills, I guess. It's like 14. On Mythic, it's like 6. Uh, on Heroic, I think it's 14 kills. Based on like the data mine stuff that we found on the um, like the actual like charts for LEGO. It's not marked for LEGO, like for which LEGO or for which item. Not explicitly, but like it looks like it correlates pretty well with the, uh, the Feralath LEGO. I guess the best way to put it. I'm gonna drop it over there. Let him get some kind of defensive value out of it. We were vibing on this end. There's a tank or whoever is running around grabbing all of them. Which is what you're supposed to be doing as a tank. Do, 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 do. Next thing you should get it pretty much. Should be a basically guaranteed. Yeah, at some point it's a guaranteed. Like there's no shot you don't get it. It's just it's a it's a it's a it's a not even like an inevitable percent chance, it's just like you guarantee get it. There's just no other way around it. Like 14 weeks in Heroic, I think. 14 though. Yeah, I'm gonna save my grippy hand for like the ads. But the other DK might be doing the same thing, so it might just be us like being super like hyper. <laughs> hyper helpful for the party, and it's gonna be like, uh, one of us could have greeted. Just send it on the boss. And we're gonna try to see if I can grab as many as I can. As many as possible. Uh oh, okay. Well, I can't even dot him. <laughs> okay, they all just died. I was trying to dot him to get my army going, but uh. <laughs> They're all dead! They all died! <laughs> I guess it is normal and always fairly geared, but that's just hilarious. <laughs> they all died! Oh man, I wish I had death called a little bit more, because my army is kind of desynced with everything. It's a little unfortunate. I never had a, I didn't see them die that quickly. Oh man, okay, we got one. Thanks to make sure not to face that into the ads. Like a like a like a like a like a. How oh, boy? This is it, boys. God, are we gonna kill him before like we phase him? I got army for like when he comes back down. I think that's what I'm gonna use it. Uh, we're gonna die if we stay here. What I can do is this. And try to see if I can maybe yoink. And yoink. Grab all of them. Yeah, all of them died. Okay, cool. Yeah, this group is pumpers, man. This group is just full of pumpers. Frag just might die here, dude. He's at 32% health. He's probably just, he's like foot in the grave. 
And we're lusting. Yeah, twelve percent. He's just dead. He's cooked, dude. He's toast. Some old songs, man. I guess I'll grab one just to keep it safe. Lego? Nah. Nobody got one. Nobody got a Lego. Aw, oh, man. No Lego, boys. <gasps> Maybe chess pieces now? Because that would be better than what I got. Hmm. Maybe we get the chest. Possibly. Yeah, no Lego. Nobody got one either. I can try for a heroic at the very least, but I don't know. Trying a heroic in this guy would be a little difficult, honestly. You know what I mean? That would be a little rough. That would be a little tough. Because <laughs> this guy, last time I did a heroic, it was rough, dude. It was difficult to get into. But maybe. That's like the only other chance I have, boys, is maybe heroic this time around. I guess next week, though, yeah? Next week. Wish me luck, gonna uh, take a heroic and hope I get the freaking axe. Go for it, my guy. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Good luck. I mean, maybe I could join as like a tank or something. Tank of this guy is not that difficult at all. It's just positionals and whatever. I'm just living. Do, 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 do. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Not that big of an upgrade of a chest, but like it's better than what I got. There we go. Alrighty. Well, there's that, boys. There's that. If there's going to be a Kata um, beta tomorrow, I, I think I'll stream it. I think I'll stream it. I think I'll stream it. I think we'll do it. I think I'll do it at this point. You know what I mean? I think we'll do it. But, yeah. That'll be fun. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me go and um, buff up my stuff real quick. And see if I can sell one of these Shadow Flame things real quickly, too. But I think I'm mostly just chilling for the night. I do have a SOD raid, surprisingly. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. That's that's. that's uh, I'll I'll do that. I'll do that. Ten K pair. That's huge, actually. Prices I think went up. In fact, uh, we're gonna run this instead. Do, 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 do. You know, I actually don't hate the blade pieces. I just hate the helm. But like all the other pieces, I don't hate at all. I might want to try to see if I can make a full set off of it. If I can get all the parts. Let's go and upgrade a couple of things here and there. Oh, yeah, I need to make one tier item, though. Um, I'll probably go make the helm tier item, maybe. Let me do that real quick. Easy to take one? Yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure. Mm. Can't even upgrade any of this, can I? No, I can't. Game won't let me. I need the worm crests. The other crests don't do anything for me anymore. Rough. And there's just like another item that I can grab that's like higher item level. Mm, I don't think so. No, we're chilling. Then I guess these don't really do anything for me anymore. If we got a little bit more, I could at least convert them into like. Drake crest or worm crest rather. Yeah, let me go catalyze my stuff and then we'll call it there. Oh, what time is the raid, Matux? Is it soon? I don't even remember what time it is. I remember signing up, I just didn't look though. But yeah, I'll try to see if I can maybe join like as a tank or whatever. Maybe if I can find like a friend of mine or something that's doing it. It's in five minutes. 
So it's like in a little. Okay, cool. I'll be there for it. ADS team. Yeah, I'll be there for it. Mm. Crit mastery over haste. I guess one of them got to go crit mastery, right? And I think mastery is probably better. Or haste mastery is probably better. So I think I'll keep it as is, and I'll turn that into a item. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe the belt is what I can upgrade. Hold on. Let me go back real quick. Good team, Dal. We're entertaining. Thanks so much for coming by, Dan. Uh, Dren. I'm bad with names, my guy. I'm really, really bad. But appreciate you for being here, my man. Appreciate you. Tomorrow, likely a day off, unless it's turn out they classic beta and if i have beta we'll probably stream it but tomorrow i plan to just have an like, easy time easy chill day hmm. but good stream boys man good stream try to see if we can get ourselves lego try to get ourselves a 23 ad done just for the difficulty of it i gotta just farm out ad's man like easy ad's just to see if we can get the trinket that's like the one item that's like maybe kind of i can't even upgrade this I can't even upgrade anything. I just did worm crests all day. I'm like a decent-ish item level. I just need to get that 470 team. I just need to like really overpass and get onto the 470 mark on this guy. And then we'll be chilling. That's all I need him. From out 18s. Yeah, I should. It's like I'd rather do them on a higher difficulty because they're more fun engaging. Like 18s are so easy. Maybe even like a little too easy where it's just like it's not even engaging or all that fun at that point, you know? That's why the only reason why I did it on high key, just because it's like, I, I like the challenge, you know? But yeah, <laughs> I feel like they could have been fine, but whatever. What can you do? That just teaches me a lesson. If I'm trying to go for items, just go on lower level. Just make it easy for myself. Just like challenges, man. But like, why though? I don't know. Just don't fall asleep that way. All right, you guys are wonderful. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Definitely will see you Friday for them five, five, one, 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 one